be here this year. No one. Or this end of the year. No one. And so we want to thank God that he has brought us this far. And so we just want to thank God. Are you ready? Are you ready? In two, one, three, make a joyful noise unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. Lord, you are holy lifted. Lord, you are holy exalted. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to be in this place. For your favor to celebrate your faithfulness, Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. From the depths of our hearts, oh Lord, we have come to say thank you. We've come, Lord, to honor you. We've come, Lord, to extol your holy name. Give you high praise, give you honor, give you adoration. I call you for there is none like you. There is none like you, Lord. That this time to be worshipped. Uh, worship the Lord, worship the Lord church. Glorify him. Look back in your life uh, and tell him, Lord, uh, if it were not for you, if it were not for your mercy, if it were not for your grace uh, that has carried us through, Lord, you'll not be here. But because, Lord, you've done it for us, we glorify you. We praise you, Lord. Uh, we worship you today. We bow down.
Father, because you are a mighty, you are a faithful, you are a true God. No one is like you, Father. We submit to Roy Rwanda, your able heart, God. We declare Roy Rwanda for Jesus. We declare the fraternity of Roy Rwanda. We call your name, Father, upon Roy Rwanda for the glory and honor of your name. We come against the power of disparity. We come against the power of all darkness in Roy Rwanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against the witchcraft. We bring down the power of witchcraft. We bring down the power of sorcerers. We bring power of divination. In the name of Jesus, we declare the name of Jesus upon Roy Rwanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare it shall move far. We declare the growth. We declare the fruitfulness of Roy Rwanda. In the name of Jesus, we all fall. We pray that we shall intervene in the in the royal. We pray shall intervene, oh Lord, even upon the government of royal. We pray for unity. We pray for oneness, oh God. We pray for the prosperity in this in this legion of royal. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for every child of royal. We thank you for the families of royal. We thank you for every person that live in royal. Yesu, Baba tunaomba kibari chako, tunaomba wema wako mfarme, ukawasilishia nguvu zako, wakakujua zaidi, wakaishi kwa mapenzi yako katika jina la Yesu. Father we thank you for Roilo, Roilo for Jesus, Roilo for Jesus. We call upon salvation, we call upon the revelance in this area of Roilo. We speak the prosperity, we speak the unity. In the mighty name of Jesus, and Father, we thank you because they'll never be the same again. They'll never be the same again. They'll grow for the glory and honor of your name because you are a mighty Father that you may reign in this place, that you may reign upon your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we beseech you tonight that you may move in loyal area, God, in all the area, Father, for the glory. Lord, that your move shall change the people. Your move shall change the hearts of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you make a new things. In Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, glorify your Son, O Lord. Glorify your Son tonight. Glorify your Son tonight for the glory and honor of your name. Roy Roy belong to you. Roy Roy for Jesus. Roy Roy for Jesus. Tonight and forever. Roy Roy will never be the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare your goodness. We declare your mercies. We declare your power. In Roy Roy, in the mighty name of Jesus, take the control, oh God. Take the control of Roy Roy. Take the control of Roy Roy. No power of darkness. No power of darkness shall dominate Roy Roy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for no one is like you. We lift your name. We lift the name of Jesus. In Roy Roy for the glory and honor of your name. Take your praise, oh God. Take your praise in Roy Roy. Take your praise, Father. We seek you in the name of Jesus that you may walk upon your people for the glory. And honor of your name oh, yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Father, we give you preeminence, Jesus. We honor your name this night, oh God. For you alone deserves our worship, Jesus. And we are gathered here, Jehovah Lord, to give thanks unto your name, Lord. To make us a nickel sick one, Leo wa jina la Kobaba. To make us a nickel sick one, Leo Kusemania Sante Fame. To make us a nickel sick one, Leo Kukupa Shukrani Jehovah. Leo Mana Tuna Kuitaji Mionim or two Fame wa Jabu. E Mungu Momini Pukitkila to Kilita Jina la Kobaba. Una Tuitika Kwanchia wa Jabu Fame. To me on a woman in Puako Tango Waka who wants a Baba. Kila siku tukipatana Jehovah mfame Huko siku wanekana Jehovah Huko siku chena machabu mfame Ndiyo maana tuko hapa kusema shante Ndiyo maana tuko hapa kusema unasahili Ndiyo maana tuko hapa kusema wewe ni muaminibu Na kila tunakopuita mfame wachabu Unasahili
tunashuka Jehova usiku wa leo yawe tunakuita ukashuka tunakuita ukonekana mahali hapa tunakuita ukonekana katika maeneo haya tunakuita roho yako Jehova akashuka kwa njia kuu akatenda lile peke anaweza akatenda mapenzi yako baba roho wa bwana tunakukaribisha katika kikao hiki we cannot do without you my god our time is in vain my father if you're not in it my god our shouting is in vain my god if you're not here with us my father our singing and dancing my god it belongs to you my father and you're faithful to your word my god that when your praises go up your praises come down my god as we worship you redeemer we welcome your presence in ruinu my god we welcome your move in this grounds my god on this altar jesus in this place my god we welcome your move we welcome your spirit holy spirit take over now take over our heart take over our mind take over today's kesha tukua nafasi yako baba tukua nafasi yako roho tunavua yote baba tunavua tachi zetu baba tunavua zote mfame tunavua machina yetu jehova yote tunayofikiria ni yako bana tunayoweka chini kiburi jehova tunakiweka chini mashira zetu baba tuasiweka chini ili ukachukua nafasi yako baba ili ukatenda mapenzi yako baba ili ukaonekana hapa baba chuka roho wa bwana chuka roho wa bwana chuka ukaponya mfame chuka ukaokoa baba ukavunja laana baba ukainua walio chini ukatetea wanyonge ukabadilisha wimbo ukatupa wimbo mpya baba usiku
What can we render to you, Lord? What can we render tonight, Lord? We are here to give you praises. We are here to worship you for who you are. When we look back and see where you brought us from, Lord. Oh, we bow before you, Lord. We surrender to you, Jehovah. Everybody lift your voice and surrender to him, Lord. Ooh, he's worthy, Lord. Our Lord is worthy to receive our praises, uh, to receive our thanksgiving, uh, to receive our adoration. Uh. He, my Lord, is worthy and nobody else. Nobody else is to take your glory. We we how go on you wepo. How go on you to kufu. How go on you shima. How go on you madamlaka. How we go on you sifa. Zote ni zako baba. Zote ni zako baba. Zote ni zako baba. Zote ni zako baba. Mata ifa yote Yana kufahamu Kuwa wewe ni mungu Usie shindwa baba Mata ifa yote Yana kufahamu Kuwa wewe ni
Unaweza tukashindwa lakini yeye hashindwi. Unaweza kuwa umeshindwa mara nyingi lakini kumbuka yeye hashindwi. Ukimlilia yeye asiyeshindwa. Anakuwa wa kutushinda nini? Haijarishi umeshindwa mara ngapi? Hata unajulikana jina lako ni kushindwa. Lakini Yesu bwana Yesu washindwi Mungu wetu washindwi kamwe
Nimefanya majabu baba Hatuwezi Umetenda ya kushangaza mwaka huu oh mungu umechelewa oh umekawia oh sikuoni oh uko wapi jehova huchelewi wala hukawi kono wako sio mfupi wakuto kutenda maana ulio ahidie Jehovah, who tell we?
un año más fuerte the Lord. Open your voice and shout unto the Lord. I cannot hear you. You are so many. Open your voice and shout unto the Lord. What a ruiro itu e yakoba mungu etu ashidui Unajua nikiwa hapa naona katikati naona watu wengine wamenyamaza so wewe unanyamaza umekuja kufanya nini kama uwezi toa hiyo sauti hakuna kitu kingine Mungu anakuitisha sifa za mdomo yako so ukinyamaza uwezi mpatie mpaka sifa ya mdomo nikiki kiki ukiheka ile uwe hebu muulize mwanzako utapatia Mungu nini nini nyingine ataki nguo yako ataki gari yako ataki nyumba yako eh hey! hey! eh kile anachotaka mwisho wa mwaka ni sifa za kerere yako wacha nisikie kelele
tell him. Open your voice, appreciate him. Open your voice, thank him. Mwereni kia tu etaneti yona le tuwari aku. Ata nikiti kiswa. Sita angu kamana weni mungu siya shido. Open your voice, everybody. Take a moment and thank him. Look back and see. Wadi ikidi tu haku ye watu. Not all to the heart ago. You are still standing. You are still worshiping. You are still singing. You are still praising. Come on, open your voice. I'm saying open your voice. I'm saying open your voice. I'm saying open your voice. Shake it, 
ulikuwa karibu ushindwe adui alikuwa akumalize but you are still standing tonight that the first end of year you are still standing hey open your voice hawezi kosa kitu ya kusema inua sauti mwambie When I remember all the Lord has done I will never go back anymore When I remember all the Lord has done I will never go back anymore somebody say when i No, no, no. I will never go back anymore. No, no. No, no. Because of that reason you have all the reasons to worship him. You have all the reasons to praise him. I want you to tell him this. Hallelujah. Nina sababu ya kukua budu. Hallelujah. Nina sababu ya kukusifu. Uku na uami 
ni sababu ya kuku Inua sauti mwambie tena Sema haleluya Inua sauti kabisa haleluya Kama uko naye mwambie uko sema kama mimi nina sababu ya kukuabudu oh nina sababu ya kukusifu Ya 
leave nor forsake and that is why we are enjoying the end of this year because he has not forsaken and he did not forsake any one of us that is the reason why we are standing
Dio, 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 
wasoke kule mwisho wacha wakuje wasoke wachae wakuje wachezee Yesu Kaya raraboza Shuna Zako azie sabiki Aha, aha Umefanya ili, umefanya lile Umenipa china Baba Baba nina Aha Ushukuru Nani ya na ushu na zeme Ulio Ulio Yatena kwa nguni bengi Shuna Shuna Rima ya raboza Baba umefanya Mulio, atashuda baba, umefanya, umeni pachi na baba, nina, chiza ukite mea, niseme nini, siwezi kuwele. Hey, I love the joy that is in these people. Sir. I love the joy that is in you.
tukisema inua mikono Anza kukiri Kiri 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 uwezo Kiri uwezo wako Kiri uweko wako Kiri kubusa Kiri Kiri ufanisi wako Confess now The goodness of the Lord Open your voice everybody Kiri 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 sasa Kiri uwepo wake Kiri neema zake Kiri upendo wake ndani yako Kiri sasa Kiri sasa Shakarararaboni mayante Yale umetenda baba Ni mengi mno Tunakiri gubu zako Tunakiri uwezo wako Tunakiri leo Jehovah Tunakiri leo baba Tunakiri leo baba Mazisho na kitu chochote kiri Kukiri ni kukubaliana na uwepo wake Ni kukubaliana na ngufu zake Ni kukubaliana na uwepo wake Kiri Kiri leo Kiri ngufu zake ndani yako Kiri ya kwamba haujatisimamisha Ni ye ya mekusimamisha Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. You are Yahweh. Yeah, you are Yahweh. You are
Porque é 
Takatifu Takatifu Wewe ni Bwana Sauti kabisa 
It is a night of praises. Hallelujah. Uh, if you came for a night of worship, say hallelujah. hallelujah. I want to hear you screaming. Hey! Ebu Goja, what do I say? Amen! Oh my God, there are so many outside there. Wako wengi. What do I just say? My man is here. Woo! Aya kule nyuma kabisa wale wakonje. Say my man. Ata sauti zao zina poterea mahali hapo hivu. Hallelujah. Everybody, Hallelujah. Shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Woo! Wangapo na sema tayari ni mebarikiwa. Hallelujah. Amen. Na bado, mwambie mwenzako na bado. Mungu ametupa usiku wa leo ili tuweze kumwambudu. Tuweze kumsifu. Alafu pia tutakula chakula. Chakula cha ukweli. Chakula ambacho ukikula hautashiba tena. Ah mbona msemi amen hapo? Sema amen. Sema amen. Sema amen. Kama uko na kiti unaweza kuketi kidogo. Kama huna kiti usijali. Tu, hata hawa wameketi wasione kama wameketi sana watasimama tu saa hii saa hii hii hi, hi, tu in the next less than 15 minutes they will be all standing kama ulikuwa na kiti na unataka kukaa unaweza kukaa tutarudi tu tena hapa kama hutaki kukaa ni sawa simama huko na Mungu atakubariki glory to god hey mwadhani ni mweka kuku kitoi Hey, Larry, you Messiah? We, Jesus Christ. All the glory to God. All the glory to God. All the glory to God. I want us to give an offering because we are about to celebrate a new year. In less than 40 minutes, we'll be celebrating another year. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And before then, I want first of all to recognize the visitors and the guests that are here tonight. Amen. First and foremost, I want to recognize you and you and you and you and outside there and you. Na hata kama sikuoni ata wewe. Hallelujah. Mahali popote umetoka because sijui nikianza kutaja nitachaja wapi. Watu wa Ruiro najua ni wengi. Watu wa Ruiro wako. Watu wa Thika wako. Watu wa Gedorai wako. Hao ni wale wale wamerudia. Watu wa Kasarani wako. Mimi mnani mnani enjoy. Anyway, mahali popote umetoka. Tunakutambua. Tunakutambua sana. Kwa sababu ulikuwa na kwingi kwa kwenda. Ama hata ungelala kwa kitanda yako. Lakini ukaamua mwaka huu kabla uishe unakuja kumwabudu Mungu back to the root of worship i am going 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 back going back to the root root of worship i am going i am going 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 back going back to the root that is why you are here i am going 
going, 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 going back, going back to the root, root of I say I am going, I am going, 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 going back, going back to the root, root of worship. Worshiping through, worshiping through, worshiping spirit. Worshiping through, worshiping through, worshiping spirit, worshiping spirit, yeah. going back, going back, going back to the room. Worship, worshiping through, worshiping through, worshiping spirit, worshiping spirit, going back, going back to the room. So na kutambua, maana umefanya uamuzi wa kucha. Worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. Say amen. Amen. Zaidi ya hawa tukona wageni wengine ambao wamekuja. We have pastors, we have bishops, and we have our guest speaker tonight here. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. We have our dad who is my husband. Venerable Canon Major Samuel Thombem, appreciate him. Woo! You know, it is said, it is said, it is said, behind every woman, or the, oh no, it starts with behind every successful man, there is, but now here, it is different. Behind, beside every successful woman there is a man that pays the bills there is a man that pays and that is his name Major Samuel, I appreciate you I want also to appreciate Pastor Martin and Pastor Mine they are all the way from USA USA Washington, if you come to Ananzanga, Tacoma, Washington, and Washington, Tacoma, whatever. Seem to say, whatever. Mume mu appreciate. He's our guest speaker. I know he will have an opportunity. He will have an opportunity to come and speak to us. And that time he will introduce to us the wife and the children. Beautiful girls. Beautiful. We have Bishop Fred Karaoke. Thank you for coming, Bishop. Ah, Makofi Jamani. We have Bishop Elizabeth in the house. Thank you, Bishop. Hallelujah. Thank you. We have Director Larry Lisa. Na kwambi yangu yola zima niseme pole pole. Because ni kisema araka nta sema Larry Lisa. Na unajua ni Larry Lisa. Utoke kwa ar arafu rudi kwa ero. Muki kuyu yoni ngumu sana. Ata mi ni pigieni Makofi ni meweza Larry Lisa. We have Pastor Jane from Tikap. Pastor, we appreciate you. Thank you for coming. We have Pastor, is Pastor Anne Lawrence here? Not yet. We have Fred Kahora, our partner, our friend. Kama kuna wakati nisha wai uliza, jamani tusimame na something. By the time nina maliza that Tuesday, anakuanga moja wa kusema yangu ni hii. Ta jamani tumu appreciate. Is Masimbone here? Woo! Masimbone from. Is it Milele T Milele Radio? Appreciate her, please. Now appreciate yourself. Listen, we have choir here. We have Shaka choir here. We have Shaka team here. And we have all other departments. There are so many. You come and I appreciate all other departments that are here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want you now to take your offering. Are you ready to give? Ah, I didn't hear you. Are you ready to give? Because after this, I am counting one, two, almost to Kokaribu 11.30. Took on a very little time. And we want to celebrate the new year for the glory of God. I want to 
the people behind the screens, please, to write our numbers there. Thank you. Very good. So you see, if you have, you don't have cash, these days, what one akuanga cashless? Eh? Cashless. Eh, cashless. Eh, my jewel squeezy. So that are, those are our numbers. If you want to pay directly to the bank, you can pay 247 247 95500 hash. If you are giving thanks, if you, this is your offering, write offering after hash. If you want to do the Lipa and Pesa, you just do the buy goods and services, then 5200. You may shake with it. 520087. In a kuanga, 520087. 520087. Na wale wana wako inje, because we have, by the way, let us appreciate the online viewers. Thank you, online viewers, for being with us and uh, tuning in and worshiping with us. May the Lord bless you. And keep watching. Keep worshiping with us. And the Lord will bless us. Now, you are number. Opati number zawa wa wananga mpesa, wa wananga nini. But they have 0721, 0712441129. That is the number. Ashas, are you ready? Now you can begin to let people that, let people who have the cash money give as the Mpesa people do the Mpesa. Give generously. Give faithfully. We have another project that is ahead of us. God spoke to us from next year. We will be going from county to county. And because of that, we have a worship caravan that we are looking forward to have. <laughs>
Blessed be the name of the Lord. 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 Yes, it is you. Niwewe uko uhai. Niwewe umeona 2024. Si kuambiwa na macho yako. Niwewe. Niwewe ukiwa mzima. Niwewe ukiwa umesimama leo. Umeingia kwenye mwaka wa 2024. Hallelujah. 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 If it is you say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it is you that I'm seeing say hallelujah. Come on shout hallelujah. If it is you that celebrating 2024 say hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Happy new, Happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year 2024. Year. Lift your hands and give God a clap of a ring because of giving us. Nasema makofi ya kushangilia kupewa mwaka wa 2024. Hallelujah! Woo! Woo! Hallelujah! This is what the Lord said. 2024. Somebody say 2024. With a loud voice say 2024. Is the year of the Lord's visitation. Shout again 2024. I want to hear you 2024. Is the year of the Lord's visitation. How many are ready to be visited by the Lord? How many are ready to be visited by the Lord? I am ready, Sarah Kay. I am ready Woo, to be visited this year. Nimwaka wa kutembelewa. Nimwaka wa kutembelewa. Nasema nimwaka wa kutembelewa. Tell your neighbor. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. The Lord's visitations here. Mwambie utatembelewa. Tell your neighbor you'll be visited. Ask him, oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, if you're ready, shout hallelujah. Before I bring the man of God to bring the word tonight, I want you to do this declaration tonight. If you have your, if you have your po, uh, phone at the pod, if you have your phone open, Jeremiah 29, verses 10. Nataka to read here, Yakumi. Are you ready? Jeremiah 29, verses 10. Are you ready? If you are ready, say, hey. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. God spoke to the Israelites through Jeremiah. And this is what Jeremiah said. In the book of Jeremiah 29 verses 10. For thus 
Thus says the Lord, after 70 years are completed at Babylon, I will visit you. Underline that. I will do what? Remakata Yaraboza. I will do what? After 70 years are completed at Babylon. Mimi si jui miaka sabini yako ni gani. Mimi si jui Babylon yako ni gani. All what I know is according to the word of God. After 70 years of Babylon. After 7 years at Babylon. I will visit you. And he continued to say. Not only visiting you. But I, he said I will visit you. And perform my good word towards you somebody shout not only visiting he will visiting he will visit and perform his good word towards you towards you towards you towards me say hallelujah listen and it says and cause you to return. And I return. Cause you to do what? Return. Tell your neighbor, my friend, I am returning. Mwambi, after visitation. See itaka Babylon. See itaka kwenye utumwa. I will return. How many ex are excited? I will return. Sarake, you will return. I am telling myself, I will return. Not only returning, but to this place. Some, someone say to this place. I must say to that place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen, the kind of visit God spoke about wasn't a casual visit. But it was a divine intervention. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Kwa sababu si ile visit ya bosi yako. Si ile visit ya wazazi wako. See the visit ya sonko yako ama tajiri yako atakuja na kaunga hapo na kuachia 1000 hata akikuachia 1000 hata akikuachia million moja it is nothing to com you can compare you cannot compare to with the visitation of god because the visitation of god is a divine visitation somebody say hallelujah it is not a, not a casual visitation hallelujah this year the lord will visit with a divine intervention. Amen. I am saying this year, this year, the Lord is visiting. I am saying this, si tulimalizana na hile mwaka ilisha, ilisha uko, na uwache kuangalia kile ulipitia uko, na uwache kuangalia nyumba ulifungiwa uko, I am talking about, I am talking about, the Lord is doing what? So I want you to understand that divine intervention is a supernatural event that defies the law of nature and science. Divine intervention. Hayelewangi amuri. Hayelewangi malo. Hayelewangi protocol. Hayelewangi maformality. The law, I mean the divine intervention will not recognize any law that anybody has put on your way. Kama walikus, walisema ya kwamba familia yonu munafikanga hapa. The divine intervention. We break through. We'll make you break through. We'll make you break through. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say I am the one. To be visited this year. With the divine intervention. Listen, the outcome of the Lord's visitation is beyond human understanding. Sema ni zaidi Ya mafikiria Ya mawazo Ya mipango Ya mitaratara Ya mwanadamu So acha kuangalia visitation ya mungu from west Acha kuangalia visitation ya mungu from east Visitation ya mungu ni Kuna kitu na itangwa hivo Indirection Indirection or whatever thing that is this Haina direction Auta ikoja itoke upande huu it can come from anywhere, anyhow, anyway, anytime. Somebody say amen. Somebody say hallelujah. 
the outcome of the Lord visitation is beyond human understanding. Kwa hivyo mtu asikuje asikuje kutuelezea kwamba God anataka kukuja na namna hii. All what is saying, I will come. I am visiting you this year because your 70 years of Babylon is over. I am saying your 70 years is over. Somebody I'm saying your 70 years is over. Mimi sijui 70 zako ni ngapi naweza kuwa si 70 lakini ni 1 year ama 20 year but it is over. And the Lord is visiting. Somebody shout this year. This year. 2024. 2024 is the year of Lord's visitation. Listen now, things that will happen no one will be able to explain how and why they will happen supernatural things are going to happen when the lord visits no one ever remains the same when the lord visits nothing ever will remain the same if i am telling someone tonight say hallelujah Hakuna kitu kitabaki mahali kilikuwa. Kama ulikuwa level hii. Utaenda hapa. Kanitoa chini. Kanitoa chini. Si tupatie hiyo kitu sikii tu kwa. Haya mmepita wachane nayo. Because the Lord is visiting somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. You know why? Because our Lord is a protocol breaker. Yes. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Our Lord is a courtesy breaker. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. Our Lord is a formal is a formality breaker. Say amen. amen. Our Lord is a ticket take breaker. Somebody say amen. amen. Our Lord is a seasons breaker. Osio ne weka inyeto ga. He will never ask anybody permission when he wants and when he decides to come and change your life. I declare that he is visiting you and he going to change your life. Somebody say amen. amen. When the Lord visits he becomes actively and intentionally involved in changing situation in his people. Come on look at yourself and that is why I asked you before wakati tulikuwa kule ile mwaka ingine take a selfie because the year that we are we are right now nobody will know you again if you only take these words it depends on the way that you are going to take the word of god when he says that he will visit believe it without no doubt he comes to perform his good word to his people and his good word is to cause them to return say return his good word is to cause his people to return the lord will not visit to will not visit you with nothing but he will visit with a replacement with a restoration with a revival with a return with a return of strength with a return of glory with a return of restoration Chochote ulipoteza rasia. You are returning to the former glory. Jeremiah was telling the Israelites now they were going to return to where they they were supposed to be. Somebody say amen. Where is that place that you are supposed to be? Return in the name of the Lord. Return in the name of Jesus. Anything that was stripped off. Kile chochote kilitolewa. Nguo ulitolewa. Ukawekwa nguo ya aibu. Nguo ya afya ulitolewa. Ukaweka nguo ya magonjwa. Nguo ya kuwa nazo ukatolewa. Ukakuwa ukawekwa nguo ya madeni. Umefuliza. Umetara. Umetoa toara ama nido ile wisio. Umewoteva all those things. Yaani mpaka saa hii mshwari inakuona inakuogopa. Kama ni wewe sema it is over. Because it is the year of visitation. I declare abundance in the name of Jesus. I declare abundance in the name of Jesus. I declare that the former glory will be returned in the name of Jesus. I declare you to return to the former glory. The former joy that you had. 
listen kuna kitu kilikujanga last year kikatoa ile furaha ulikuanga nayo shetani ni muongo that is the reason why the lord is visiting because he has seen that you are stripped of your joy and your happiness that thing that came mpaka ujuangi kufurahi ni namna gani every time unaenda kufurahi uko hii unakumbuka ile uchungu god is returning you back to his joy god is returning you back to his happiness somebody say amen somebody say amen anything that was stripped of may it be your glory may it be your favor you are healing you are joy you are happiness even your salvation kuna mtu ameokoka mara kama 20 mwaka huu this time round the moment utarudi kwake you will live you will sustain because it is not by might nor by power but by the spirit of god be it, be it, it is your inheritance whether it is your inheritance in the kingdom of god you are serving god you are preaching the gospel of jesus christ something came up you are no longer there you don't want even to hold the microphone you are returning back to the glory to your inheritance may it be your relationship i don't know how many relationship that you have been one from another breaking from one glory one relationship to another the lord is visiting you this time around and when he visits you you will just need one May it be your marriage. May it be your marriage. Your marriage was stripped off. But the Lord is visiting. I want to hear somebody say hallelujah. I want to hear somebody say hallelujah. I want to hear somebody say glory to God. If you are ready say I'm I'm ready. Say Lord visit me. Now I want you to see these things and say it passionately. Say it loudly. Say them. Say Lord. I want to hear your voice. Say Lord. Lord. Visit me. Visit me. In a new way. In a new way. That my life, that my life may, glorify may glorify your name. Shout again, Lord. Lord. Visit me in a new way. In a new way. That my life, that my life may, glorify may glorify your name. Number two, say Lord. Lord. Visit me. Change my life for good. Come on say change my life for good. Come on say change my situations for good. Number three, say Lord as you visit me unlock the blessings that you have in store for me. Say it again Lord as you visit me unlock every blessing that you have in store for me. Number four, say, Lord, visit me and return every barrenness in my life for me to be fruitful. Tell Lord, let me become fruitful. Come on, say it again, Lord, let me become fruitful. And the last one, say, Lord, visit me and bring me out of the captivity. Return me back to the place of peace. I want you to say this again. Lord, visit me and bring me out of captivity. Return me back to the place of peace, to the place of joy, to the place of happiness, to the place of advance, to the place of increase. Come on, continue saying to the place. Mention your place now. Mention your place now. Mention your place now. Mention your place now. Mention that place. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 Return! Return! Return now! Open your voice and return! Open your voice and return! Open your voice and begin returning! Answer Kurudisas! 
Anza kurudi sasa. Anza kurudi sasa. Anza kurudi sasa. Anza kurudi sasa. Sherere boz. Shekayanta rabo. Ria boze kayanda. Shekerere boza. Waliopotea. Ukapotea njia ya Mungu. Anza kurudi sasa. Natangaza anza kurudi sasa. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. This is the year of the Lord's visitation. This is the year of the Lord. This is the year of the Lord's visitation. This is the year of the Lord's visitation. This is the year of the Lord's visitation. Yes, you are worthy. You are worthy, O King of Glory. There is no other God like you. Yes, you are from everlasting to everlasting, Jehovah God. You are on our wall to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. You are God forever and ever. Your name is above every other name. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We glorify your holy name. We magnify your holy name because you are Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We adore you. Thank you, Lord, for this moment. May we have our seats, please. It is quite humbling to be in the year 2024, isn't it? That among the billions and the billions of people in this world, that you and I have seen the year 2024 by the grace of God. Amen? And it is so amazing that he can be able to speak to us the very few minutes of the year 2027 that he is going to visit us again. That the former things have gone because the Lord is going to visit us. You know, it's amazing. You know, I'm a theologian and I've learned that past several times. But I've never, they have never spoken to me the way it has spoken to me this morning. Bonas, if we are sana. Thank you, thank you, my sister Sala. Allowing God to use you as a, you know, I'm confessing that as a theologian, that was, you know, we normally lash to 11, verses 11. That is where we lash. We forget number 10, a very powerful, powerful verse. We need to give thanks to the Lord this because of his doing. Amen. Psalms 104. Those who are coming from the Anglican Church, you know this was the psalm for the day. And uh, we were singing this psalm, Psalm 105, sorry. It says, give places to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nation what he has done. Buona sifuya sana. Praise the Lord and make it known to all nations what the Lord has done. The year 2023 had its own challenges, but the Lord was faithful in our lives. It doesn't matter the challenges that you went through. God was faithful in our lives. You know, first to say, sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Tell it. Because God has done it. And the most catching one is not verses number five and verses number eight. It says, remember the wonders he has done. His miracles and the judgment he has pronounced. Remember the miracles. You know, being alive today is a miracle, isn't it? Having breath is a miracle. You know, God allowing you to come to this uh, worship and, uh, you know, this Kesha is a miracle. It is not by an accident. You are here by the light being a child of God. And the only thing we can do is to praise him. Verse 8 says, he remembers his covenant. I want you to underline that. You know, our sister Salah has you know, prophesied to us that the Lord will visit us this year. Amen. That is a promise that the Lord has made this morning. And verse 8 says, He, God, remembers his covenant forever. 
and the promises he made for a thousand generations. That whatever God has promised in your life, he will remember even for a thousand generations. Whatever God has promised me this morning, I am sure and I have the confidence that he is going to make it. Amen? You know, I was not a preacher. I was just coming here to do something else. But I was persuaded to say those few words. Amen? So we want to thank God for us this uh, morning as we celebrate the goodness of the Lord. And more so, I want to recognize once again uh, Esther Gadongo. Uh, I honor you, you know, the thing is, the thing she is my member of the church and therefore I'm proud of her and she used to be our former MP of this area, the former MP of uh, Roiro, Esther Gadogo and he, he, she is the one who has supplied this tent the beautiful things that we are seeing here so we honor you Esther we bless the name of the Lord because of you Amen and Amen and our other servants of the Lord this uh, morning I want to honor you I was just coming here to introduce our speaker who God has prepared for us this morning and this new year. A man of God. A man who has served nations and nations. A man who is a friend to this ministry. And a man who is a friend to our family. Uh, pastor Martin uh, is a pastor in the U.S. Tacoma, Seattle. Seattle is the place where Boeing 7, uh, 7 sevens, whatever, 7-7, seven, seven, those sevens are manufactured. So he is in that city where the Boeing is being manufactured. And he has the largest church, Kenyan church, in Tacoma. I had a privilege to preach in his church twice, so I feel so humbled this morning, uh, this, uh, morning to have you, Pastor Martin, coming to share the word of God. I want to welcome, uh, I request all of us to stand as we welcome Pastor Martin to come and share the word of God and he will be introducing his family and I know he has also come with other members of the church he will be introducing them to all of us, to us this morning May God bless you Thank you sir, thank you, God bless you Amen thank you. Amen and amen Hallelujah amen. Happy, New Year. Happy New Year Glory be to Jesus Amen. Before I say anything else, I have my family. I know I could be new to some of you, but after today, I will not be new. Don't worry. The Lord is with us in this place. I have my family. My wife, Pastor Mine, will say hi. Of course, we have our second daughter by the name Victoria. She'll say hi as well. We have Shalom. Is it that born? And we have Joanna, who is the last born. Somebody's wondering where the first born I want to say that we have entered into a new year. Last year, some of you, you are wondering what happened last year because you went through so many tough situations. Last year was one of the toughest year. Our daughter, who was 16 years, was diagnosed with cancer. And on March 26th of last year, she passed on. But we are still praising the name of Jesus. You have no reason to be quiet. You can praise God in the midst of all the challenges. And if I'm standing on this altar declaring the faithfulness of God, you have no reason to be quiet. Amen. Let's give my wife a minute, even the children as they say hi. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. The Psalms of 107 says, Praise the Lord for his mercies endure forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let us praise the Lord for his mercies and do it forever. I glorify the name of the Lord being in New Year. And I know we have started strong. May God bless you. My name is Amine Mbogwa. Born again, Christ is the Lord. Praise God. Bogo and I'm happy to be here. Praise God. Praise God again. 
My name is Victoria Wamboy Bogo, and I'm blessed and I'm glad to be here. Amen. The little one, she doesn't like talking much, but I said her name is Joanna. May the Lord bless you. Can you appreciate them as they sit down in the name of Jesus? And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Amen. I will not be silent. Can we sing that briefly? In the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord that this year, there is nothing that is going to silence you. Shako baridi katarabagadosh. If you can speak in tongues, open your mouth. Repasa takada. Metore sakate balababogeta. Mela pate kaziti makata. Mele plaka zete rebegeta. Mi plaka zade magatoko zete. In the name of Jesus. Worship to you in the valley, up the mountain, in the challenging time, in the time of breakthrough. We shall always give you praise. Our mouth in this year 2024 will be full of worship. Forever we shall exalt your name because God, we have discovered your faithfulness is not by what you have done. Or what you have not done. Your faithfulness is by your nature. And therefore Lord we choose to worship your name. Because you are faithful in nature. May your name be glorified. We worship your name because of this year of visitation. Our lives will never be the same. May your name be glorified. Ha. Materebo setaba. Me carabo se tabos, mi caterebo se tama, me lo popo se temeca, mi pola bisenta y anamaca, y le coto bozeque, mi lipisenta y amagando. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Come on, raise your hands above your hand and worship the king. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Come on, Lord, let us worship the Lord. Give him praise. Give him praise. Open your mouth. Worship the King. Worship the Lord. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Father, we worship you. Before 
I enter to my message. I want to appreciate this wonderful, wonderful family. When uh, my pastor came to Seattle, Washington, and uh, he was introduced, that's the first time I heard that name, Canon. <laughs> but I thank God because he became a blessing. Can we appreciate this man of God? <clears throat> my friend, Salah, has ministered to our church many times. And when she invited me, I was preaching at Kingdom Seekers, the Lord. And I had to avail myself to be in this place. Can we appreciate this woman of God? <clears throat> and now, I want you to appreciate yourself. Put your hands together and appreciate yourself. <clears throat> now, with a good attitude, raise your hands above your head and worship the King. Appreciate the Lord. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Shakara Baba Gandara Masando. My, 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 my. I don't know how to go about this, but uh, when the worship is standing behind me, Sarake knows I'm so much tempted to keep singing. And so, si tu waruhusu tu waketi. Si tu wapigie makofi. And you can take your seat as well. For a few minutes, take your time. I will not keep you. I will just deliver what the Lord has given to me. As I have said, I am Pastor Martin, all the way from a church called JCC, Jubilee Covenant Ministry in Tacoma, Washington. If you come to U.S., come to Washington. Look for a place called Tacoma. You will find us there. If you go to your YouTube or your Facebook, you can just Google Jubilee Covenant Ministry Tacoma or JCC Tacoma. You will find us there. Right now, they are in the service. They are about to get done. They are uh, almost closing their service. It is actually Sunday afternoon in United States of America, specifically in Washington, and I want to bring my greetings from Seattle and from JCC Tacoma. Would you receive them in Jesus' name? Amen. May the Lord bless you as you receive them. I got the theme of this year and I prayed and I told God, I want to hear your word. And of course, the Lord has spoken for sure with the clarity. It is going to be the year of God's visitation. Somebody's life is about to be turned around in Jesus' name. Amen. I am one of those people. I sometimes don't, I don't close my eyes when I'm prophesying. And even when I'm speaking things that I've heard God is speaking, I don't need to turn. Some of us, we are used to the background of Wakurino, where they have to turn around and jump up and down for them to release a word. I don't do, do, do those sarakasi. But believe me, if you listen to the word of God tonight... Your life will never be the same again. Tell your neighbor your life will never be the same again. And I have seen people's life being changed. And I want to say I'm a witness of what God can do. I know people are hearing uh, just the word and they are hearing uh, the description and the beautiful, glamorous, uh, you know, introduction of somebody who has come from U.S. But I can tell you I was not born in U.S., if some of you, I tell you where I come from, some of you will not be able, even you might not be able to trace it on your map. It is a place called Gevioro or Getivia or Escarpment. A very dry place. By the grace of God. On your way to Nakuru, there is a place called uh, Viewpoint. How many people know that place? When you stand on that viewpoint, there is a place that is down there before my Mahio, there is another place that is down there when you are standing on the viewpoint. When you stand there, when you look down on that deep, deep valley, that place is where I come from. And so I don't care where you come from. God can locate you from any location. When the Lord has decided to bless you, he will come from wherever you are and he will visit you and change your life. I told some people when I was preaching back home 
and I, well, where I come from in the U.S. and I told them, I'm one of the person who come from a very humble, humble background. Wazazi wangu, mimi ni melelewa katika unyonge. I come from a very humble background. And I told some people, I went to what, I, can, I, I don't know how many people can, can identify with it. But I went to a place called Escarpment Nazareth School. I went to Escarpment uh, Primary School. I went to Escarpment High School. If there was a university there, I would still have gone there. Unfortunately, there was none. But the long time of hesitation, he did not uh, fail to choose me, even though I had come from a very humble background. Let's go back to the word of God. Judges chapter 11. Open your Bible. Judges chapter 11. I want you to know your night to be transformed has come. And the Lord will revisit you. And he will visit you regardless of how much you have been despised. Some of you become a play from a place where you have been despised. You have no name. Nobody cares about you. And you have not been mentioned. Even when they are mentioning name, you don't appear among the number. But I have your word tonight. Because this is the year of God visitation. Tell your neighbor the year of God visitation. Tell them again with an attitude, the year of God visitation. Some of you possibly you have never heard this word, but you hear it, and the Lord will change your life. I'm going to read from verse 1. Now Jephthah, the Gideonite was a mighty man of Aram, but he was the son of a harlot. Tell your neighbor, the son of a prostitute. Tell them, ah, the son of a harlot. And Giri begot Jephthah. Giri's wife bore sons, and when his wife's sons grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, You shall have no inheritance. In our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. Then Jephthah fled from his brothers and dwelt in the land of Tob. And worthless men bathed together with Jephthah and went out raiding with him. Verse 4. And it came to pass after a time that the people of Ammon made war against Israel. And so it was when the people of Ammon made war against Israel, that the elder of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tob. Then they said to Jephthah, Come and be our commander, that we may fight against the people of Ammon. Verse 7. So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, Did you not hate me and expel me from my father's house? Why have you come to me? Now when you are in distress, and verse 8, and the elders of Gilead say to Jephthah, that is why we have turned against you now, that you may go with us and fight against the people of Ammon. Be our hand over all the inhabitants of Gilead, and verse 9. So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, if you take me back home to fight against the people of Ammon, and the Lord delivers them to me, shall I be your head? And lastly, verse 10. And the elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, The Lord will be witness between us if we do not do according to your word. Father, speak to your people. We pray by this word, people's life will be transformed. The power of God will flow and change the destinies of men and women. I pray tonight, these people who have come hungering to seek you, the Lord, by your word, you will transform their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, this is what the Bible says. There was a man by the name Jephthah, and the Bible says Jephthah was born out of wedlock. His mother bore Jephthah before she was married. And so when the mother got married legally, the sons were born from that family when they matured enough. The Bible says they told Jephthah, depart from us because you are not a partaker of our family. Leave this place and go. And the Bible says Jephthah was evicted. 
And he went to a place to look for safety. And the Bible says where he dealt, there are some worthless men who became, who came to his life and they give company. Kuna wanaume wambawa wali mutafuta, alipovukuzwa nyumbani, wakasema hebu tuwe pamoja na wewe. They came to stay with him. And the people who were left at home, the Bible says the Ammonite decided to come and attack them. And when they came to attack them, they could not be able to fight. Listen, I declare in this new year, the Lord by his own design will create a problem that you will be able to solve in the name of Jesus. There is a time that God decided to bless his people and he causes a problem that only you in your family can be able to solve. Even those who despise you, they come to look for you because whatever they are going through, it is only you who has an answer. I want to declare God is still blessing his people. And this year, people's lives are about to be changed. And the Bible says when the enemy came upon the family of Israel, they looked among themselves. There was nobody who could be able to help them from the distress they were in. And therefore they went looking for Jephthah. And they found him. They said, Jephthah, come and fight for us. The Ammonites have come against us. We cannot be able to fight them. But we come to you. And I want you to know when he was told that, he said, I am not coming back unless you make a promise. If I come, I'll be your leader. I am going to be leading you. If I come, make a covenant. And I want you to know today, do not be a fool. If you have been despised in a place, when you return, have a covenant. Don't just return. Make a covenant. Because there is a God of a different season. In the name of Jesus. He said, I'm not just, I'm not your boy. That whenever you don't need me, you cast, you cast me out. But when you're in trouble, you call me to solve your problem. Then when I come and the problem is solved, you're going to tell me to go again. Not anymore. I have decided if I return, I'm returning for good. And this is the year when the Lord is returning people to their place of their blessing. To their place of their favor. To the place of their victory. I have told you I have grown up in a place that was very humble. In a humble environment. But the Lord who changes the name of man appeared to me and decided to change my life. I told some people the other day when I was going to U.S. It was my first time to board the plane. And thank God I was not going to visit. The Lord decided to promote us and take us to a new land. And we, are going, we went there permanently 14 years ago. But I can tell even by the time of our going, we had no money. We had looked for money everywhere. And when we boarded the plane the other day, I was telling some people, we boarded the plane, uh, Canon. Listen, we had only $40. And some of you, you are looking at yourself, you look at your situation, and you think you are done. You cannot go any far. When the Lord locates you and decided to change your life, when the Lord decided to come and visit you and camp in your place, let me tell you, even the whole village will say, for sure this man has been visited of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 40, I waited for the Lord, patient tray. He inclined his ear and had my cry. He lifted me up from the pit of my iron clay and stepped my feet upon the Lord and gave me a new song that I may praise his name and the Bible says and those who saw what the Lord had done for me they said yes this is what the Lord can do and I want to say there are people whom the Lord will change their life until there is a testimony in their village if you believe it to say amen. amen hallelujah and I want you to know when God decided to bless you I have preached the book of Ruth, but today it came with a different revelation. Most of us, when we are talking about Ruth and Naomi, we only see Elimeleki and Naomi headed to the, Lord, uh, to the land of Moab so that they can go there because there was drought 
in Bethlehem, Judah, the place of the blood. But I want you to see another perspective. When, the, when they were headed to the land of Moab, even though they were going to look for blood, they were on assignment that they did not know. And I pray in the name of the Lord, may the Lord send people in assignment in your life. In the name of Jesus, the assignment if you do not know, they were going to locate a girl by the name Ruth, because God in heaven had appointed a Moabite girl, that by this Moabite girl, she is going to carry a womb that is going to give birth to a man by the name of Bed, who was going to be the father of Jesse, and that Jesse was going to be the father of David, and from that womb, there was going to be lineage of Jesus Christ, and this girl was in Moab, therefore Elimelech could not stay any longer in Bethlehem, Judah, because there is a girl. I pray may the Lord said a man to come and locate you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, they left their land on assignment. And I want to say God is sending men on assignment to come and locate you and position you into the place of your destiny. This is a year of God visitation. And when God is on assignment, he will send men and women. When they come, they, you, they, you, you don't even think you qualify. You are looking at the person they are looking for because you don't seem like it. But you are the one. I say this year, may the Lord send men, may the Lord send women, may the Lord send Send people to come and change your life. The Bible says they went. Listen, if you doubt that, hear this. Because when Luth was married, the son of Erimerek and Naomi, who married Luth, he died because he was not supposed to be the rightful man. He died. Because the assignment was Ruth. And I declare whatever is unworthy in your life, may the Lord remove it. Whatever is hindering you to get into your destiny, may the Lord get rid of it. This young man had to die before even they had a child because Ruth, even though a Moabite was on assignment. And the Bible says when, listen, some of us, we didn't bring all power. Whom when Naomi said, I am returning to Bethlehem, Judah. And she, she convinced these two girls and said, I am not young anymore. I am too old. Even if I got married today, I cannot get children. You cannot wait for my children. And then Alpa eventually said, because her name meant neck to turn around. She said, it is okay. I'll return. But Ruth insisted, I will go wherever you go. I will die where you die. I'll be with you. You are going to be my God. Why? Because she was pushed by the assignment. May your assignment push you to your destiny. If it's the ID case, you shall not miss your destiny. Where God has entitled for you, I declare you will not miss in this year. You have missed many years, but 2024, you will not miss in the name of Jesus. There are many blessings that have gone by you, but this year is the year of God's visitation. Hallelujah. Listen. When God is on assignment to change your life, there is nothing that can stand on the way. He said someone and tell someone, go to the house of Jesse for I have found a man after my own heart. And then he find there, David is absent. He is in the field looking after the sheep. And the last of the young men appears who are tall and good looking and handsome. And someone looks at them and says, wow, this must be the one. And when he tries to pour the oil and God says, no, he is not the one. The other one comes and God says, he is not the one. I want to declare today, nobody will take your blessing in the name of Jesus. That which God has intended for you will not be taken by somebody else. And the Lord kept saying, he is not the one. 
they kept coming until the last one. And then somebody said, is there another son? And he said, yes, there is one who is young and looking after the sheep. I say you may be forgotten by your people, by your family, but I declare God will not forget you in the name of Jesus. They may not mention your name as they call the last, but I declare your name will appear. And he said, I will not sit down until that boy, tell your neighbor that boy, until that boy appears, I mean sitting down. And he stood and waited until Daud Kijana Akadja Pali. Na wakati Daudi alipofika, Buana Akanena, akasema huyu die ambaye Nimemteua kuwa mfalme wa inchi ya Israeli maana Mungu alikuwa amemtenga I pray may you become among the people whom the Lord has set aside to bless in this year and change your life in the name of Jesus I declare you shall be among the number when the Lord is changing people's life may the Lord change your life one time I was telling some people the other day there are times in life you don't look like any blessing and people have despised you because you don't look like it and I told some people when we were going to the US that is about 14 almost 15 years ago when I told people I am going they told me you cannot have you ever been told that you are not among the people who qualify to go Right now, I may look like it, but that time I did not look like it. If I show you my photo, 14 years ago, I was so skinny, you would have mistaken me for being sick. Nilikuwa ni mechapa. Unajua kuna ruga ya kikuwi, tunasema ate, modo ne moso na neini. Nieti goso no daso neto, nine kukariyo. Ninaambia watu na mneyo. Mutu ambaye amechapa. Mpaka ukiambia watu kwamba unaenda ngapo wakikuangalia they cannot see anything they don't see anything and for sure they say you cannot go but i tell you there is a god in heaven when he chooses you nobody can remove you when he qualifies you nobody can disqualify you and i want to tell you the best place of being qualified is when you are in Christ Jesus. The Bible says Jephthah left and went to a place and they came looking for him. And they said, if only you would come and fight for us. There is a time in life God looks at you and decides to appoint you and bless you. Until the people who despise you, they come to borrow from you. Until the people who forsook you, they come to look for a place to dwell. Until the people who looked at you and they thought you are nothing, they come to borrow a lift from you. Until the people who never thought you can give anything, they call you for a fundraiser because there is a God in heaven. And I tell you, when God raises you up, appear and become a blessing to your enemies. You know how you know that you are delivered? Is when you show up even in the place of your enemies. And become a blessing to them. Without bila kinyongo. Wewe mwenyewe unapika pale. Na unawabaliki. Kuwabaliki vizuri. Hata wawo wenyewe wakikuona wanajua kwa ba wamebalikua. Maana wewe mwenyewe umebalikua. And I told some people the Lord blesses you. So that you can become a blessing to other people. It has nothing to do with you. Praise the Lord. And I pray may the Lord send people on assignment. May the Lord set men on assignment to locate you. May your blessing find you this year. And I declare this being the year of God's visitation, everything that God had intended for your life, it will be restored. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 2 and verse 25, I will restore all the years, the cankerworm, the palmerworm, 
the locust has eaten. And I've been telling people, and I want to tell you again, when the Lord says, I'll restore the ears, he does not want to restore just the things. Ears is the ears in your life that you cannot be able to account for. There are times in life you can look at your life and say, a number of years I cannot be able to account. I've been in working for 20 years, but 10 years I don't know what I did. 15 years I cannot see where my money was going. I declare today, God is restoring the, uh, the wasted years. What you do not know, what you did. That is why when God restores ears, somebody can tell you, I am 50 years old, you look at them, they look 38 or they look 35, because somehow God has restored the ears. Year 2024, the year of God visitation. And when God visits you, and it comes mixed, I made a declaration, and this is what I'm, I'm, I'm going to declare because I know it will change your life. One time, the Philistines had taken the Ark of the Covenant. And I believe tonight there are people whose life will be changed. They are going to provide a dwelling place for God and their life will never be the same. If we can harvest some souls today, I believe the agenda of 2024 will be done in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says David went, they got the Ark of the Covenant. And when they were carrying the Ark of the Covenant, the Bible says, as they carried Uzzah, so that the Ark of the Covenant was about to fall and held on the Ark of the Covenant. And the Bible says that God struck Uzzah dead. And when Uzzah so he decided, I am going to take this Ark of the Covenant and look for a place to leave it until I figure out what's happening. And listen, he went to a house of a man called Obed Edom. And he told this man, I want to leave this Ark of the Covenant in your house. And this man was a wise man. He said, yes, sir, as you say, leave the Ark of the Covenant in my house. And listen, the attitude and the way you handle the presence of God will make the difference in your life. Uzzah died because of holding in an unworthy manner the Ark of the Covenant. But when it was left in the house of Obed Edom, the Bible says within three months, tell your neighbor three months. Can you tell your neighbor three months? Tell them again in three months. Within three months, the Bible says that the neighbors of Obed Edom, they went looking for David. And they told David, listen, David, where you left the Ark of the Covenant, in the house of Obed Edom, Borisia Obed Edom, is like a totato, tona, totadato, ngobe, sia Obed Edom, Zinaza mapacha hata kuku zina taga mayai nane kila kitu kimebadilika maindi ya obed odom inatoa maindi nane kila kitu kimebadilika they saw it was evident yeah do you imagine umebarikiwa within three months mpaka the neighbors wanna complain what kind of a blessing is that and they went looking for David and they said, listen, since you left the Ark of the Covenant in the house of an Obed Edom, the blessing we have noted in that family, they are notable. I want to declare in this year, 
what the Lord will do in your life will stand out conspicuous. Itaonekana wazi wazi. Haitafichika. Mpaka wale wanaokuona watasema hakika amebarikiwa. And the Bible says when David heard that God had visited Obed Edom, he went and for sure he confirmed. And when he confirmed that David, when he confirmed that Obed Edom was blessed, David decided, now I am going to do it right. This iki to hayui, iki to nivira to ribeba vibaya. Kwa hivyo now aya ika ma imebariki mutu. Hata mimi nitabarikiwa. I want you to understand our God is good. If you allow him to be in your life, the thing that God will do for you will be notable. Ebu nuambie nilipokoka. When I gave my life to the Lord, I was telling some people. Nilikuwa kijana kama vijana wengine. Nilikuwa ninetembea, ninapiga muta kama wengine. Maisha ilikuwa inaonekana ni mazuri. Lakini siku moja nikaangalia maisha yangu. Nikaona vile maisha yangu inaelekea sio vizuri. Na nilisumbuka mawazo, nikasumbuka moyoni. Nilikuwa mpiga biashara. And one time I decided let me shut my business. I was restless. And that was the beginning of my breakthrough. I came to a town where I come from. There is a town that is not too far away. And some of you may know that place called Aplans on Yambari. And I went there. And when I found a preacher preaching. And I listened to the word of God. I had the benefit of the kingdom of God. And I waited for this woman to call for an outer call. I was wondering what is she waiting for. Why can't she call for an outer call? I was ready to give my life to the Lord. Nilikuwa nimetembea, nimesuguliwa na shetani, nilikuwa nimepitia matatizo, nikasema now I need this Jesus if he can change my life. I need this God. Na alipo itana out of call. I was among the first. Nikakimbia, nikapika magoti. That was September 10th. 1999, it was on a Friday. If you check your calendar, my life was changed completely. Nikapiga magoti, nikaombewa. And I can tell you, I've seen the benefit of, uh, of allowing the act of the covenant in my life. I have seen the benefit of Christ in my life. And I want you to know today, if you are not a believer, make 2024 your year when you allow the Lord to be in you. And I tell you, your life will never be the same. And for those who are in Christ, this is the year of your visitation and your change. The Bible says, God is always on assignment. To choose these people. And when he decides to bless you. There is no mountain. There is no hill. There is nothing that God cannot do. To change your life. In the book of Luke. The Bible says. And this might be my last illustration. Jesus comes. And appears. At the lake of Ganesalet. I think it's Luke chapter 5. And the Bible says. He found Peter. And his brother, they were trying to fish the whole night. They tried to fish the whole night and they had caught nothing. And the Bible says, after Jesus came and appeared to them, he told them, give, give me your boat and pull away from the shore for a little bit so that I can occupy your boat and preach the gospel. And the Bible says, when Jesus got into the boat, and he started speaking in the word of God. When he was done with the boat, he told Peter and his brother and the rest of the people, now take your nets and launch into the deep for a catch. The same place. Listen, my understanding and the book that I have read tells me fishing is done at night, not day 10. They had told the whole night in the same lake of Gennesaret, the right time at night and they caught nothing. But now Jesus has come at daytime, the time that fishing is not normally done. 
But he is saying to them, launch into the deep for a catch at daytime. I want you to hear this. The reason as to why Jesus is telling them to catch fish at daytime when it is normally done at night. Niyo awaonyeshe kwamba ata kila kiumbe kina niti. Everything belongs to me. If it, I don't need night all day. I can do it in a hurry. When gina wenyu mesumbuka, mumefanya biashara, hazi endelai vizuri, unafungua kioski, unafunga, unatovuta kazi, hai endelai vizuri. Listen, with the God, everything is possible. Na Bibia inasema, when he, he heard the Lord, he said, Lord, I have turned the whole night, but at your word, at your word, at your word, I am going to launch into the deep. And the Bible says, they took their nets, they took their boats, come on, somebody tonight, you will take your nets in 2024. The same net that were not productive in 2023. This year they are going to be productive in the name of Jesus. Some of you, the place where you never made anything, it was a place of stagnation. That will be the same place that God will make it a place of acceleration in the name of the Lord. Where you are stagnant, 2024, the Lord is going to unlock you. And the Bible says, he took the nets and then he went to the deep. It is daytime and I guess he is thinking about it. He is one am I crazy? Fishing, I am an expert. I am the one who have been fishing for many years. I know this thing. I have done it many times. Nahi ni muchana. Na ni miambiwa niweze kufusha na nyavuzangu. Katika maji ya lio kirindini. I will obey, although I don't know how it's going to Listen, some of the things that you do 2024, you don't have to know how they will work. It's none of your business. Do you know why sometimes we struggle? It's because we use a lot of common sense. Is somebody with me? I am saying many a times why we struggle is because we do a lot of common sense. To sum up two plus two is four. Four minus three is one. Listen, and that's why even during the wedding, we say, and one will become another one, they'll become one. That does not make sense. Lakini unaona watu wa mungu, wanafanya hesabu. And the Bible says, listen, one shall chase a thousand. And the Bible says two shall chase ten thousand. Lakini like the normal mathematics, if one is one thousand, two should be? Nani ke? Yani nini mumefanya mungu asifanya kazi katika maisha yenyu. Maana munatumia akiri zenyu. But I want you to understand Peter said, I don't know how it will work. It never works at that time. But at your word, I am going to launch. And the Bible says they launched their net. And they got such many fish until their net were breaking. They had to beckon to their neighbors. Come and help us. I declare that this year, the Lord will bless you with the blessing that you cannot accommodate by yourself. The Lord will open doors that will require your neighbors. The Lord will give you a breakthrough that other people will become partakers in the name of Jesus. I've heard people that watu wame barikwe mpaka kukuwa wanataka kwa neighbor. Siyo ni baraka. I became in the Lord bless you until your neighbors benefit from your blessing. The year of God visitation. Kuna watu mwaka huu bwana atakupa ufunuo hata wa kuiba nyimbo kwanza wale ambao wamekuwa katika baraka katika hii unajua hii ukibariki mtu ambaye amepewa you know let me give you a testimony by the grace of god even though we struggle to go to us today as we talk the lord has blessed us we are business owners 
and your employers and the people who I minister to in the land of the U.S. by the grace of God, I told them you cannot be the members in this church and continue be, by the grace of God, I'm releasing the same grace that I carry. And I told them by the grace of God, I believe that you shall become partakers of the same thing I am walking in. And I can tell you by the grace of God, over 80% the Lord has blessed them. And when you partake and become a blessing to this ministry, some of you, the Lord will give you revelation to sing new songs. And the songs that are going to hit in the name of... Sio kuiba tu nyipo. Ni kuiba nyipo ambazo zinaguza mungu. Na watu wabalikiwe. And I want to tell you, the blessing you are going to tap will be extraordinary. And he said, I am going to launch the deep. And when he launched the deep, the kind of fish he caught, he had to call for the people who are with him. And I want you to understand, when God blesses you, it has nothing to do with you. I have been telling people, and I want to say this again. How your blessing is seen is not by how much you have, but by the people you have touched. I want to say this again. I know this sometimes it does not sink well. But you are a blessed person. Not by how much, by how much you have in the bank. Not by how many property you own. But by the lives you have impacted. Some of you, I want to declare in 2024. The Lord will bless you. In a manner that you are going to touch many people. And you are people, today you have no name. But before the end of this year, you have a name. I am saying before the end of this year, you have a name. I am saying again before the end of this year, you will have a name. And your name will be a great name. Let me give the last illustration. Many of us, we have the book that we love reading, the book of Esther. How many people have read that book? And the book of Esther, the wife of King Zexas, or Asuelus, or King Zexas, the Bible says he had a wife by the name Vashti. But because God had intended to bless somebody else, Varsity, because she was not well positioned, had to misbehave. And when the king called Varsity to come and sing, she be misbehaved. She said, I also have servant. I am busy. I don't have time. Listen, Varsity misbehavior was not because she was an arrogant woman, it's because there was somebody else that God wanted to lift. There was an assignment. And when she misbehaved, the people who surrounded the king said, now leave her alone. Do away with her and go. Let us go the whole nation looking for beautiful women so that they can come and be with you and you look for the one that you like the most beautiful. And listen, there was an assignment to locate Esther. This year, 2024, may the Lord locate you like he located Esther. And the Bible says the less than most of the girls came and they were given food, they were decorated, they were prepared, things were done well for them, and all of them, they put all this manduido, make up, make in, make out, whatever they are, they did make all the make things. Si wa mama mnajua hiyo mambo. Muna make, muna make mpaka muna animake. And that's why I tell our young men before you get married, make sure that when you meet with a person who unamwambia wakati mwingine kuja ukiwa raw material, muzima muzi. Unaambia tukutane, unajua ukikutana watu sande kila wakati akona makeup. Mwambie tukutane mande ukiwa raw material, raw material before you are manufactured. Be also surprised. 
And they prepared, they got everything in place. But God had already chosen Esther. And the Bible says when Esther appeared, the Bible says, the king said, this is her. And I want to declare now, as we stand on our feet, may the Lord locate you. May the Lord say, this is you, in the name of Jesus. May you become a person whom the Lord is going to choose in this new year, 2024. May the Lord locate you, in the name of Jesus. May he locate your address. May he give you an assignment. May you be the person that God is going to elevate. And I want to declare, Obed Edom was blessed because the Ark of the Covenant was left in his house. And I want to say today in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone in our midst who has not given their life to the Lord, this is your night. 2024, we are not going to enter this year and stay in this year 2024 when we are still lost. The Bible says when the Ark of the Covenant was left in the house of Obed Edom, his life was changed. And today, if you have never given your life to the Lord, it is a time to allow the Ark of the Covenant to find a dwelling place in your life. And this year, 2024, it will be your year of transformation, the year of your change, the year of your visitation, the year of your healing, the year of your deliverance, the year of your favor, the year of your victory, the year of your breakthrough, the year of your acceleration in the name of Jesus, the year of elevation, the year of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Let's all of us stand, wherever you are in the name of Jesus. And if there is anyone tonight who is saying, I am not going to leave this stadium before I give my life to the Lord, I want you to raise your hand wherever you are and say, it is my night. And if you are there, yes, in the name of Jesus, anyone who says, today is my night, today is my night, if you are there, just come over. If you say today, let's put our hands together for the one who has come. If you are there, you say today is my night. I am done. I cannot celebrate them as they come. I cannot continue coming over. You are saying today is my night. I am tired. I don't want to continue in this kind of a life. I want to give the Lord a place in my life. Rakozo Komaganda, come over, come over, encourage them to come. You say today, I am giving my life to the Lord. Come over. Meshala Bagando, Rokomozaka Baganda, come, continue coming. If you say today, you want to give your life to the Lord, you want to give the Ark of the Covenant a place in your life, come over. Oh, don't stay behind. Give your life to the Lord. It will be the beginning of the transformation. Beginning of the change of your life. Beginning of the change of your life. In the name of Jesus. If you see them, encourage them to come. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. The Lord is going to change your life. I can attest you. Your life will never be the same. Keep coming. Reka Mazando. Reka Mazando. Reka Mazanda. Reka Mazanda. Keep coming. Encourage them. Encourage them. Hata wale wako inje kwa Kama unataka kumpokea Yesu. Jo. Kunae mungu anabadilisha maisha. Kunae mungu anainua. Kunae mungu. Reka mazanda. Reka mazanda. Reka maganda. Reka maganda. Continue coming. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Repo magazeka. Marabaza.
keep coming. My life will stand around. I don't want to leave this place and leave you without Jesus. Because I know the beginning of your breakthrough is giving the Lord a place to dwell in your life. That will change your life. It will break every morning pattern in your family. It will break even the family altars that are ungodly. I've had people are returning back to the worship of their fathers and back to the worship of the old. But I have discovered there is a better place in Jesus. I have seen Jesus at work. If you are there and you need your deliverance, run, 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 run. You need your change. Run. You need to see the hand of God. Run. Mazake la boba kena. Melebeze kene megenta. Wale wako inje ya hema. Kama huja mpokea Yesu. Jo. Jo. Mpe Yesu maisha yako. You will never be the same. Give your life to Jesus. You will never be the same. Mazela bagadaya. Merebeze kerebegenta Kunaye mungu anabadilisha maisha Kunaye mungu anabadilisha wibo Kunaye mungu anabadilisha Reka mazako de mazika Reka mazana Wewe 
kuna mtu anataka kuja lakini kuna kitu anasikia kinam kinamzuia break that break it confront your fears come you don't owe anyone any apology come Sikiza hapa Let me tell you what happened in my life The day and I'm giving this to the glory of God The day I gave my life to the Lord because some of you are hidden and wondering if I give my life to the Lord and I have a girlfriend what am I going to do with her or a boyfriend the day I gave my life to the Lord for the glory of God the girlfriend that I had was standing right next to me I did not care and the moment I knelt down she ran and she received Christ as well and immediately she knelt down she spoke in new tongues maybe you are the person who is tying with your neighbor and the person whom you are wondering what will happen if I give my life to the Lord let me tell you you are her deliverer or his deliverer come and see what God can do when Gideon asema marafiki zangu forget about them come here they will receive Christ. And some of you are fearing, if I give my life to the Lord, I will go back. You will not. Count how many years I've been, uh, since I gave to the, my life to the Lord back in 20, 1999, September. Until today, how many years are those? Over 20 years. So I can tell you the Lord, the way he has kept me, he will keep you. Do you have anyone who is there? You umefungwa na pombe. Umefungwa na vitu. Umefungwa na watu na marafiki mnaoenda kunywa nao kimbia hapa Hawana uzima wa milele Mungu ndiye anayekupa uzima wa milele Umefungwa na marafiki you are wondering what will I tell them you don't owe them any explanation it is your life come I'm saying you do not owe anyone an explanation. It is about you. It is your life. It is about eternal life. Wale ambao unashindwa tumwambia marafiki nini? Waachana na wao. Wakija kwako uwaombe waokoke. Maana hata wao wanahitaji uzima wa milele. It is about your life. Encourage those people where I can see people coming from the back. Encourage them to come. We are not closing this meeting without their life because the Lord needs you. Make a way for them as they keep coming. Rako Zebeka Namazando. Loko Mazaka Magande. Melepe Zeke Maganda. Na kuambia hata kama ni mmoja amebaki. Huyo mmoja ni wa maana sana. You are there and you are still wondering. You are still wondering. Jesus is calling you. Jesus wants to change your life. Jesus wants to give you a better life. He wants to take away your pain. He wants to give you eternal life. Usibaki pale. You are there. And you think your friends will question you. Forget about come and see what the Lord will do. Mazakote la bagate. Rika mazaka maganda. Kuna yambaya mebaki. Na waomba. Wakati nimekaa katika wokovu na jua it is the best place. I can can we appreciate them as they keep coming. I can attest you it is the best place to be. 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 Mazaka demo. Menazaka demo. Makazide mata. Reka mizako. Yes, piga makofu ya napo zidi kuja. Marataka zete. Mayande rabo saka. We break every hindrance. 
We break every hindrance. We lose them now. In the name of Jesus. Wale wa medaganyo na shetani. Tuna wafungua. Tuna wafungua. Keep coming. Keep coming. Mazela boka na mazaya. Reke mazia ni magataya. Reke mazike le megeta. Whoa, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Wapigia makofi wanabokuja. Wapigia makofi wanabokuja. Wapigia makofi. Mashala bagado. Roko mazika ramaganda. You are there. We are about to pray. Please run. Run before you are left behind. Run before we pray. Na hata kama wewe ulikuwa umeokoka umerudi nyuma. Kimbia hapa. Bwana anakuhitaji. Ulikuwa umeokoka. Kuna neema ya kukudumisha leo. The Lord will keep you. Do not fear. Run. Mazela bone mazekela eleka nizande mazike damando loko mizande kani mazeko bagente mara kozibe kuna watu anakuja there are people who are still coming man let us appreciate the Lord kuna watu angari wanakuja jo kwa Yesu jo kwa Yesu Jo kwa Yesu akutakaze akutakaze jo kwa Yesu mazalaba appreciate the lord mazoke la baganda jo kwa Yesu jo kwa Yesu maraba baba zetere begande Makorobo zekere veganda Kuna wangine pale wanakuja Jo Jo Yesu anakuitaji Yesu anakuita Yesu anakuitaji Anakuita Jo Mashallah bagande Kuna wale wanakuja pale Encourage them to come Make a way for them. Oh, Lord, we thank you. 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 Help what was song a better kidogo to Tanganese Nafasia Wengine song a better kidogo. Oh, Rabba Shena Magataya. Roko no mozakande Hawa wengine jo Kuna wengine wanakuja kure na waona Jo ni wapigie makofi Wapigie ni makofi Mashalaba Encourage them Oh Lord we thank you Lord we thank you Lord we thank you Jo Wapigie makofi wanapo zidi kuja. Masala bone magadesh. Merebeke ntara bagando. Ropo pazide magataya. Rika mazande magando. Tunataya kuomba pamoja. Mana leo buwana anabadisha maisha enu. Aliye waita hapa ni muaminifu. You are among the people whom God chose today. Akasema muje roiro maana anataka kubadisha maisha yeni. Na ninataka kuwaeleza siku ya leo, your life will never be the same. I want to say again, your life will never be the same. Na ninataka tuwebe pamoja. As you confess, the Bible says you shall believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Then you shall be saved. Leo nataka ukiri ya kwamba 
Yesu amekuwa bwana katika maisha yako. And I want you to repeat after me. Say Jesus. Today I give my life to you as my savior and my lord. Write my name in the book of life. From today I will follow you. I will do your will in the name of Jesus. Give me the Holy Spirit to guide me, to teach me your ways in the name of Jesus. Give me the strength to overcome the temptation and the sin and the work of the enemy. From today, I am born again. I'm a child of God. I'm a believer. I am a partaker of the kingdom of God. I believe. I will confess. I will declare from now I am born again. I receive you as my Lord and my savior in Jesus name. Masalobeke. Now join your hands together. Join your hands together. Mazatoboka, Marakado, Sete Magata, Mipola Zika Maganda. Father, I speak your blessing upon each one of them. I set them apart in the name of Jesus. I declare their freedom. I break every yoke and every chain in the name of Jesus. I set them free. I sanctify them. I release the power of God in their life. They are changed. They are transformed. From today and forever, in the name of Jesus, I cleanse them. I set them apart in the name of Jesus. By the power, in the name of Jesus, their lives will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, I declare they are blessed. They are blessed. They shall overcome. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of God upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. They are changed by the blood of Jesus. Makozika, I change their life. I transform them by the power. In the name of Jesus, from today, you will never be the same. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, your life is changed by the power. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, your lives is changed in the name of Jesus. You will never be the same by the power in the name of Jesus. You will never be the same. Your life is changed by the power in the name of Jesus. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. I declare by the power in the name of Jesus. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus. You are changed. You are changed. You are changed. You are changed. In the name of Jesus, you are changed. You will never be the same. You are changed. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I release the power of the Holy Ghost in your life. The fire of the Holy Ghost in your life. In the name of Jesus, you'll never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you'll never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you are changed by the power. In the name of Jesus. Mazala Bagande, Marabazako. I declare in the name of Jesus your lives will never be the same in the name of Jesus you will never be the same by the power in the name of Jesus you will never be the same you will never be the same I declare your lives are changed now and forever in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Come on, put your hands together. Appreciate the Lord. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Listen. Listen. Every person who has given their life to the Lord, do not leave. Give your name to the ashes. We need to be praying for you. And I know Dr. Salah will give you instruction. But I still want to emphasize 
After this, make sure you go home and give a testimony. Go and tell people from today, I am born again. Number two, root for a church. A Bible-based church. And make it your church. From next Sunday when you go to church, let the people know, now I am born again. And make sure you give your testimony everywhere you go. Did you hear that? Amen. But tonight, give your name. So that as I go, I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for you. Amen. Can you stand on your feet? Can we celebrate the Lord? <laughs> celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Now, Sasa, Hawa, when I talk about the first Yakuza, the Yama is a good and we can see how we will be doing. They will be guided to which by who? Oh, that end. Yeah. Yes. Please, like the way Pastor has said, leave your name. Leave your number so that we can pray for you. If you are okay. If you don't want to leave your number, it's okay. But leave your name so that we can pray for you. But again, it is good to leave your number so that there can be somebody who will be following up. Who will be praying. This journey, you cannot go alone. Hallelujah. He is safari in Atakanga Fellowship. Same fellowship. So that is why we are asking for your number. Not to ask you for any help or any money. In fact, we, we want to, to work with you. Amen. So kindly... You can go from to this end and you'll find Pastor Sami there and other people. Please, Naomba Mukwe Wengi, Awatuni Wengi. They are around 160 people. Wow. Wow. Now, where are you going to If you're there and you're born again, you should celebrate more. Because you know what it takes. Now, come up with a mutu, I'm back in Pare, I'm going to go to Hapa. You get to Pare. Feel free to see me. Yes. I'll still pray for you in the name of Jesus. I know the benefit of giving your life to the Lord. I did it and my life has never been the same. These people, watch them. Watch them and see what the Lord will do in their life. 2024 is going to be your year. It's going to be your year. I am saying it's going to be your year. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Martin. Thank you so much. You know what? Your visitation has already started. I am saying your visitation has already started. Because your visitation has started. I want you to appreciate them as they go out. Hallelujah. Woo! Woo! Amefanya maku, maku, amefanya maku, maku, amefanya maku, amefanya maku, amefanya maku, yeah, ameokoa, 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 ameokoa. Listen to this. There is no greater miracle like this one. Now, it doesn't matter how much money you may be for For those souls, almost 160 souls, Amefanya maku, he maku, Amefanya maku, Amefanya maku, Amefanya, Amefanya, Amefanya maku, Amefanya maku, Amefanya maku, Tumeona, Tumeona, Akiyoko wa babo, Tumeona, Maku yake, Amefanya, Ametenda maku, Ametenda maku, Ametenda maku, Ametenda maku, Ametenda maku, Ametenda maku, Amefanya maku, Sijui kama umeona, Mimi ni mechionea, 
Watu mia moja Karibu sitini Wame tukubani Yesu Vijana kwa wapaki Na wasichana Wamama kwa waze Wame okoka Ame tenda maku Ame tenda maku Ame tenda maku Cheza, 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 cheza Wapisha mwe na vigele gele Kama unafuraia wakomu wa Yesu Wapisha mwe zenu Wapisha mwe zenu Wapisha mwe zenu Nataka kuona mkichanga mka kwa Yesu O celebrate Jesus 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 He's our Savior Celebrate Jesus Celebrate Jesus Celebrate He's a miracle I can go Celebrate Jesus Celebrate Jesus Celebrate Jesus He's a wonderful God Celebrate Jesus Celebrate Jesus Celebrate 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 everybody Celebrate Jesus Celebrate Jesus Celebrate 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 everybody Celebrate Jesus Celebrate Jesus Who celebrate Jesus Celebrate I can't hear your voice. Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Ame fanya makusema. Ame fanya. Ame fanya. Ame fanya makusema. Imagine Yesu Aki kutemelea Na kudisi zaki That means Your life will never Be the same again Amefanya maku Amefanya maku Amefanya maku Amefanya maku Amefanya maku Amefanya maku Goja, 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 goja Ok, ni kulara Ni kuchoka Ni kuamuka Ama ni nini Amu celebrate Ambia mwanza kwa ni nini Unasaidu, unasaidu kuselebrate Hallelujah Situ menenewa Situ mebarikiwa Ya kwamba tunavizitiwa Haijadishi background yako Haijadishi umetoka wapi Haijadishi shida umekua nazo Jesus is going to visit you. Hallelujah! Sasa imba na ucheze ye! Wapi vigele gele! Nasema shangwe na vigele gele! Amefanya maku, maku. Amefanya maku, amefanya maku, 
Amefanya maku Amefanya maku Amefanya Amefanya Umejionea Amefanya maku Amefanya maku Amefanya maku Inagera kai wakwa Inagera kai wakwa Inagera kai wakwa Machuko makoko Tuenda juu, tuenda juu kidogo Ruka, ruka, ruka Alafu koja, wewe Sasa ile swagi ya kuruka ya huku Director Larry Iyo, iyo, ya hivi Tunachana na yote Ni kuruka Ile ni kama unataka kuanguka na forward Unajua ile tulukua tunaruka Goti ya kendo kenge wea tika gelia Yani ya ujibakishi So wacha kujibakishia iyo Because unajibakishia nini and the Lord is visiting Si wacha, si wacha na kila kitu Aku visit Are you ready now? At the back are you ready? Outside there are you ready? Watu wa inje buwana sifiwe Hei ni wako wengi wako wengi Ebu shara Hallelujah Tuwewe Ruka 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 Wapisha because of brothers and sisters who are here. And if there is a good interpreter, maybe like a Pastor Anne Lawrence can help me. Now, to what it is. Uri okorogia mwako ogeka. Mwako si wode ni wogu korogeka. Le wadi e toro hede akorogia mwaka odhugumi olele. O toro odhugumaga. Ginya mwako si ogeka atia. Ginya mwako si ogeka atia. Le wadi rona du kore ya toro aroga maikarete ogu. Mwaka ogu ogu koroha no ogu. No aru garu gira gai na waini ra gai. Leke guiro na maria mario kaga. Weare toraga na rogosho. 
na adwaru goso ni mahotanaga adwaru goso ni mahotanaga adwaru goso matihotagwo uga emeni uga emeni now who can do that in swahili or in english what did i say pastor pastor jeremy ile kitu utakuwa unafanya ukiruka mwaka mwaka yote unayo ikiwa utakuwa unafanya hivyo kama ni kukojoa kitanda ulikojoa ukivuka mwaka hivyo ndivyo inafanyika kama ni sifa hivyo ndivyo itakuwa amen ni maiwa hiyo injo mumekamata hiyo eh eh mumesikia kabisa hallelujah hallelujah so do it like you will never do it again do it again do it like you are doing the last time because this year will be a year of praises when the lord is visiting you atakukuta mahali pasifa are you ready are you ready so Yeah. 
I'm sure most of you are what you call your coco. When I live, your coco and a uco. A buffing and escape to go up. I get us due to go up, Sasa. A bunny be a laugh, a laugh, well, you forte. Sasa and forte very enough. Nede, 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 gubora. Kukiskiya <laughs> Ati mano mefanyua hivi? Tunasema hiyo watuta. Kuna giru alitho ni heti karola. Aleluya nede kukola. E kuna giru alitho ni heti karola. Aleluya nede kukola. Ida ufwines ya chohi ni edo kakola.
Katika hizo nyimbo azichezeki. Mimi nasikia tu wanapiga vitu ate koro koro koro. Azicheza. Alafu wale wanabako ni dego bora. Azinanga. Haleluya. Sasa nataka tuseme. Sasa twende kile sasa tulikuwa. Twende ile kitu. Nataka tuseme. Hallelujah. 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 Let's praise the Lord. Hebu mseme 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 peke yenu maana nasikia kama ni mpaka kwa anasema Hallelujah. 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 Acha tunasema nini? Unajua unaona mdomo za watu wengine nasema da 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 do. Hakuna kitu cha maana amesema ajui so amesema de do na na. Na najua ni wewe unacheka. So ni let's sema let's praise the Lord. So we are saying hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Namna hii kila mtu Because this year nothing will stop us from praising the name of the Lord. Hey. Are you ready to continue praising the Lord 2024? Oh hallelujah 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 let's praise the lord oh hallelujah 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 let's praise the lord sing hallelujah 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 let's praise the lord shout hallelujah hallelujah nikisema no more no more huko nyuma mbona sikisiki no more mimi hapa nyamaze no more no more no more ah wapigeni makofu so nikifika no more nikiangalia hivi sote tunaangalia hivi aibu tujaribu namna hii lakini kichwa iniangalie ndio uone vile nafanya Oh macho sorry. Haya unaona tumeangalia hivyo. Lakini usifanye sawa. Ugoje mpaka nikwambie. Hey no more turning back. Turning back. Nimesema muzifanye. Si nimesema. Musi mugo Uangalie tu. Twende. Hey, no more. No more. No more. Let's praise the Lord. No more. No more. No more. Let's praise the Lord.
Now let me tell you. Watch and ponder. Let me tell you. Kama umeka, ebu si mama. Mana uta tatiza watu. Na uta kongo hapo muanze kuleta. Na hii 2024 atutaki. Watu wakayopoto le kuna vitu wanasema hapa. Atutaki hasira. Tunaanza anatutaki makasiriko. Mwaka utu nataka kuanza na yesu na furaha. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Somebody say, So, kama umeka, na kama unajua utaki kufanya hii, ondokea wale wanataka kufanya, usimame kando, wakimaliza utarudu kwa kiti yako. But as per now, sisi wate tunaenda. Mwambie kama mtu umeka, mwambie utatutatiza tu. Number two, make sure how went in opposite direction. Sasa imagine ya wanaenda hivi, na wendi unakuja hivi. Hiyo ni bad manners. So sote tunaenda. Na ukiona mtu anaenda hivi unampindua unamwambia ni huko. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Warm up, warm up, warm up. Warm up, warm up, warm up. Wapi vikelekele? Hey no more. Fanya nyuma. Sana mama, kwanza ni mama, simu wanaumi Ati yako yu Unajua kama ni mwanaume na enza elewa Mama Ukienda odhoni na marusi unaimbanga hivo Apa, nasindio So, kwani unasimama hivi Siwende Hallelujah 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 Kwa sababu ya utukufu wa nani Angalia uko. Uko. Warm up, warm up. Hey, no more. Turning back, turning back, turning back. Let's praise the Lord. Hey, no more. Turning back, turning back, turning back. Turning back, turning back. Let's praise the Lord. Hey, no more. of visitation and the joy of the Lord shall be our strength. Have you imagine President Ruto akwambia na kuvisit? 
nakwambia tu this year nitaku visit hata unaanza utaru ni wewe ungekuwa tunaruka ruka tunakuona huko juu it is not the president it is the king of king the lord of lord jehovah jaire yahweh the lord he is visiting us hallelujah hosanna Furaha 
Hakuna nge tutoa mali tulitoka baba Hakuna nge tubariki vile umetubariki baba Hakuna nge tupa jina kama vile umetupa baba Hakuna nge tupa fever kama vile umetupa baba Hakuna nge tupa baba I just remembered 80 years ago when we were in a very small place 
in a building called Samima at Luthuri Avenue. And there are many people who used to come to mock and to laugh at what Sarah Kay has started. A fellowship that had no one. Few people here and there. Today when I see all of you, I see God. There are few men and women of God who saw this. And one of them is here. And she's called Pastor Jay. Today I see you. And I wonder whether I deserve this. But to God be all the glory. Because time and seasons belong to him. Pastor Jim. This is what you saw in the spirit. And every time she would prophesy, she would ask me, Sarah, have you written it down because it shall come to pass? Today, we are about 6,000 people here. Because this tent alone carries more than 3,000 people. And there are so many outside there. Keep on dreaming. Keep on dreaming. Keep on seeing. I used to dream this. But you know, God does things beyond our imaginations. To God be the glory. 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 I don't want you to see Sarah Kay. I don't want to see anybody. Don't even see Pastor Jim. I want you to lift your eyes and see the Lord. Because this is God's doing. Una falla. Mambo wambayo. Una toa farada mbayo Una fanya mambo mbayo Au fana nishi ba Au fana nishi Au fana nishi Nina amba sita wa iku kufana nisha na chochote Hau fana nishi ba Hau linga nishi ba Hau linga nishi Sita wa iku kulinga nisha na pesa za zote baba Hauling and Nishipa Sita wai kukulinga nisha na ukubwa wa wote baba Hauling and Nishipa Na kitu kikile Haufana Nishipa baba Haufana Nishipa Na kitu kikile Unafana mambo
to hear the Lord and follow his ways or follow his directions. Sometimes we get weary. Sometimes we feel it is too much. But when you follow the voice of the Lord, he is faithful and just. At the right time, he makes everything beautiful. This is what I feel in the spirit. Sometimes we honor the ministry. Sometimes we embrace the ministry and the works that the servants of God does. And sometimes we forget or we tend to ignore the vessel that carries the message. If you are there and you would like to refresh the servant of God, not the ministry that Sarah carries. I don't preach about money. But I feel in my spirit, we need to refresh her. Bring what you have on her knees. Now, in the name of Jesus, we are refreshing the vessel. Go to your pocket. Put her number there. Her direct number, not the ministry number. It is seven years when God told me that Sarah will come out of that small house and God has followed his word and he has performed it. That's why you are there. You are here praising God, worshiping God because somebody hearkened to the voice of the Lord and she said yes to the Lord. If you can hear my voice and if you can perceive what the spirit of God say, Refresh the servant of God tonight in the name of Jesus. This is not for the ministry. This is for her. Telling her, you heard the Lord. You have been following the Lord. We follow you, Sarah, as you follow Christ. Because your God is our God. We worship your God because you said yes to him. Don't shy forth. If you have anything... Give it to the servant. Refresh the servant of God. You are there and you have been telling God, I would like to go the far that the woman of God has gone. It is your time, it is your chance to partake what she carries. In the name of Jesus, refresh the servant of God. This is not for ministry. This is not for anybody else, but to refresh the servant of God. In the name of Jesus. When she cries alone, when she trusts God for all this, and God touches his people to do all this, what about her? This is for us. What about her? This is for you and me. What about her? It is time for you to refresh, to refresh the servant of God in the name of Jesus. I wish her number is on the screen for those who don't have something with your pocket. She put it in her phone. She never asked me for this. She never asked me to say this. I'm obeying what the Lord told me to do and to say. Dumb. 
Bible I read that Lydia preached or Lydia prayed but the Bible says that Lydia was a business selling things from Turkey I believe every lady here you know what it means to wear a Turkey dress because of what Paul because of what Lydia did to Paul when they were serving God when he was doing the work of missionary. That's why Lydia is in the Bible. Maybe tonight being the first day of this year 2024, by refreshing the servant of God, the Lord will refresh you. The Lord will remember you because you have remembered the vessel that obeyed the Lord and we are here today celebrating Christ, celebrating what Jesus has done for us, has done for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as you stretch your hands to refresh the servant of God, may this year you be refreshed in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be remembered this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Divinely as a servant of God preached, may the Lord visit you mysteriously may the lord do it for you in the name of jesus christ thank you for obeying the lord this is about christ not about anybody we honor you servant of god when you feel tired you are not the first one moses was there and god raised ur and aaron to help their hands as you have spoken to us the Lord will visit you too in the name of Jesus and he will do that good word that he has said you're gonna do he will visit you too as he visit us in the name of Jesus Christ continue obeying the Lord continue following his steps continue hearing Lord Sarah continued listening to the Lord. He's faithful. We have you. We have you in our land. We have you in our land as a mother. Leading worship, not a song. Not a hit song, but a worship to our King. And through you, the Lord will remember our nation. Through you, many have been touched. Many have been saved. May you continue hearing the Lord and listening to him in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Pastor Jim. I handed her the microphone because I felt in my spirit that there was something that she needed to say. I didn't know it was this one. But all glory to God. Amen. Can I hear amen? amen? I'm saying all glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Kunafanya mambo ambayo mwanadamu hawezi kufanya. Unatoa faraja mbaya. Mwanadamu hawezi kutoa. Haufananishi na kitu kingine. Haufananishi na kitu. Unafanya mambo. Baba How can we find a niche How can we find a niche How can we find a niche How can we find a niche
I made it through And I can't tell how I did it But one thing I know Jehovah took it over And I reserve I made it through Come set up his help me there I made it through One thing I know, one thing I know, Jehovah, Jehovah and that is her. If that is you, say I made it through. I made it through, and I don't know how it did. I made it through, I made it through, and I can't tell how I did. But one thing I know, Jehovah, Jehovah, and that is her. Shout it again to say, I made it through. I made it through. And I can't. And I don't know how it is. I made it through. I made it through. And I can't tell. But one thing I know. One thing I know. Jehovah. Jehovah took it over. And that is all. That is my testimony. I made it through the storms, through the fire, through the wilderness, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and that is a, I made it through. I made it through the storms, through the fire, through the wilderness. And I can't tell how I did it But one thing I know Jehovah took it over And that is the reason why I'm testifying today I made it through it I made it through And I don't know how I did it I made it through And I go And I can't tell how I did it But one thing I know Shout again, I made it, made it through. And I don't know, hey, I made it through. If you see me crying, yeah, but one thing I know, Jehovah, and the result. We all did. Come on, say, we made it through. We all did. We made it through And we could But one thing we know Jehovah And the reason Yes we did We made it through And we don't know We made it through And we could But one thing we know Look at your neighbor. Look for a neighbor. Tell him. Tell how you made it through. Testify. Tell how I know you. You. And you can't. But one thing I know. Jehovah. And there is a. Tell another one. I know what you have been going through, but you, you made it through anyway. And you don't know you made it through and you could but one thing I know it is your Jehovah and that is it tell another one testify tell him I know you made it through I might not know what you've been going through but you made it through oh you made it through and you could Outside, are you telling someone? Jehovah. And there is a last person. Tell the last person. I know you, you, you in the storm, but you. And you don't know. You made it through. And you go. But one thing I know. Jehovah. And there is a. We all did. We say we made it through. We 
ukitazama amesema mwenyewe utasimama ukitazama amesema mwenyewe utaendelea ukisimama sema amen sema amen kuanguka is not our portion kurudi nyuma is not our portion stagnation is not our portion hallelujah and i love this song that i so did nitasimama nitasimama Nitasi mama Ninayo nafasi nyingine Nitasi mama tena Lazima usimame Lazima uendelee Haleluya Na hiyo tumesema ya kwamba Yesu anatembea Alafu lazima utestify useme Nitaendelea Ha 
Wapi wanaona wataendelea? Nitaendelea. Ita songa mbele Ita songa mbele Sita runi nyuma Ita songa mbele Fanya hatua zaki Zaki nabi Songa mbele hatua Ita songa mbele Mana ninayo Ninayo na pasi nyingine Ninayo Ninayo kukukia Ita songa mbele Ita songa mbele Tena Ita songa mbele Hatua Ita songa mbele Ita songa mbele Sita runi nyuma Listen to this. Nita tajirika. Nita tajirika. Nita tajirika. Nita tajirika. Sema kwa kubu zako. Professor. Nina yo na fasi. Nina yo na fasi nigine. Nina yo. Nina yo kubu. Nita tajirika. Nita tajirika. Tena. Nita tajirika. Sasa sema. Nita inu. Angalia mipa yako, nitapanuliwa 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 Panuliwa sasa Nitapanuliwa Tena Nitapanuliwa Mipaka yako ipanuliwe Ninayono fasi nyingine Ninayoku Nitapanuliwa Nitapanuliwa Tena Nitapanuliwa 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 Listen, Mwaka hu 
unapotembelewa usikubali kunyamaza shetani ndiye peke yake anaweza kukunyamazisha hata madaktari wanaambianga mtu kuongea unafungua anga roho yako unapona na kuna mtu mmoja katika biblia alifanya hivyo nampenda sana jina lake aliitwa nani blind but myers alisikia Yesu anapita akasema ni mimi na yeye Jesus son of David mpaka mabote gado wanakamsimamisha wanamwambia shut up keep quiet Yesu hataki kusumbuliwa na mtu kama wewe a beggar he refused he called he shouted he screamed until he attracted the attention of Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah Jesus is visiting but we must attract his attention Somebody say hallelujah Somebody say hallelujah So tukisema shout wewe acha kukua mungwana Tulikuanga wagwana na tukakatalia mahali pamoja mpaka wakati tulijua kuchukua ku shout When we were in Samima that small place if there is anything we knew how to do one it is to worship God in truth and in spirit two it is to cry and number three it is to shout watu walikuwa wanakuja wakifikiri kumejaa watu wanashanga mpaka viti ziko empty we used to shout and even today wale wanakujanga na robi cinema watu wana robi cinema inua mikono ni waona haya ninyi wote mnakaanga wapi Now listen, you know. Nimeona majority ndio wako huku. Kile kitu tunafanyanga na tunafanyanga kwa roho moja, serious, in truth and in spirit, shouting unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Naweza peana testimony hapa waniambie ni wangapi maisha yao yamebadilika. Wengi wamenipatia testimony. Mtu alikuja akiwa dal, anakuja hivi. Anaingia anaanza kujiangalia wapi na mimi nikikuona unajiangalia watu unapandisha anga pressure yangu vibaya sana ninakwambia wacha kusimama alafu naanza kufanya fanya hivi in two three times nasikia testimony mimi nimeshapona nilikuja hapo nikiwa moyo wangu umekatakata umevunjika nilikuwa nashangaa nini watu wanaruka na waangalia tu hivi lakini hiyo kelele na hiyo kusifu mimi nilipona na kwa sababu nilipona Mungu amenifanyia hivi sema haleluya Sema haleluya. Sema shout haleluya. And that is why I'm encouraging you. I am a noise maker and I will never stop making noise. Haleluya. Sijare si uwe sijari kama kesho nitakuwa ninaongea. Ni kesho tu. Kama si kesho ni mande. Eh lakini Tuesday tu aturudi jarudi bado. Oh le, oh Oh, kesho ni Tuesday. Leo ni Monday. Kesho ni Tuesday. Kama ni zile siku tukikuwa tumefungua gospel, bado ni I mean worship, bado ningeenda. Sema amen. Sauti yako hata usipo shauti ya Mungu. Wacha niseme kama ninataka kuongea vibaya. Hautaipika. Hautaiuza. Hakuna kitu utafanya nayo. Ni kunyamaza tu utanyamaza nayo. Si afadhali mshangilie Yesu. Na katika kumshangilia, uattract attention yake. Hey! Hey! Listen, and I usually say the only place ni kwenye fellowship ya brethren. Hapo ndio unaweza shout because huwezi anza ku shout kwa nyumba yako. Watoto watakwambia ni nini ma? Dad ni nini umechizi? So it is only this kind of altar that you can come and shout unto the Lord because Jesus is here. Wangapi wanataka ku attract the attention of Jesus? By shouting. Woo! 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 Mazia hiyo sauti yako. Hey! Woo! Jesus 
is the Lord. Jesus is the Lord.
So ilikuwa tu ni kama ka practice yetu. We used to pay 2000. Watu walipoanza kuingia na nikusikia walianza kusikia tukiabudu wakaanza kuingia. Tukapandishiwa tukaanza kulipa 7000. Thank to the man of God ambaye alitupatia mahali hapo. Hata drum set atukua, hata keyboard atukua, hata speaker hata moja atukua tuko tunatumia zake za lunch hour. Let me tell you that 7000 per month it was like 700000. Ni kama kutafuta laki saba. Tulikuwa tunachelewa mpaka naniita. Sister Sara, woi, si unajua umechelewa. Yaani unajua ni mtumishi wa Mungu ataki kuni push sana lakini niambia eh hey, unajua bado hujani nini namwambia eh hey, mtumishi wa Mungu Kama tungekaa kwenye mashaka atungekuwa hapa vile tulivyo leo Kama mtu ananisikia sema amen, amen. Usikae kwenye mashaka hata kama mashaka yanakukuta keep moving Keep moving even if you are making baby step just move Haleluya. Hata kama zinakaa ni kama una make mbili unarudi nyuma but keep on going. Kuna mhubiri anapenda kuhubiri sana na semanga falling forward. Afadhali ufail ukiwa unaelekea mbele. Mwambie mwenzako usikubali kukaa mahali pamoja. Mwambie usikubali kukaa kwenye mashaka. Keep on moving. I'm saying keep on moving. That is why down eight years down the line we are here. Nisikae duniani ni mahali ma shetani na tazami ya binguni nitafika kwa imani nisikae duniani ni mahali ma shetani baba na tazami ya binguni itafika sema ye bwana the next level ni kuaminika ambia mwenzako kuaminika kuaminika hata kama unapata shilingi tano aminika kwa hizo shilingi tano Mungu alitusaidia tukaaminika na elfu mbili tukaaminika na elfu saba sasa hivi hapa ni mamilioni ya pesa Mungu ametuaminia mwambie mwenzako aminika na Mungu atakupeleka from one glory to the other nataka ni Pandishwe tu zaidi ya le mawingu nitaomba nifikishwe e bwana huu nipandishe onataka ni pandishwe tu zaidi ya le mawingu nitaomba E bwana u Sema e bwana u Ninuwe Kwa imani Nisimame Nisimame Nipande Nipande Nilima Nibayo E bwana E bwana u Unipandishe E bwana u Ninuwe Patia bwana Yesu makofu. Everybody patia bwana Yesu makofu. 
Pigia Bwana Yesu makofi maana anatupandisha. He will take us from one glory to the other. When he visits us, he will not leave us in the same level that we are, but he will take us to another glory. How many are saying amen to that? How many are saying amen to that? How many are saying amen to that? Hakuna silaha tutavisitiwa na tutapelekwa another level na by the time tunarudi hapa next year hatutakuwa vile tulivyo maana Mungu atakuwa ametuiniwa kiwango kingine na hakuna kitu shetani atafanya hakuna kitu adui atafanya because our inheritance is that no weapon formed against us we prosper in the name of Jesus if you believe shout yeah Silaha yeyote Hakuna silaha yeyote iliyotumwa Oh, 
kubariki na kuikuinua 2024 aende kuuliza jirani yako aende kuuliza your neighbor hata wasazi wako hata mwalimu wako no wonder siku hizi naona watu wanaandika wanasema mwalimu wa math hapa ni wapi maana kama angeuliza mwalimu wa haungefika hapo ni neema ya Yesu waliopata neema wapike kelele waseme ni neema unaweza 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 Hakuna jambo lililongu la kukushinda Hey Yesu Hey Unaweza 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 hakuna jambo hilo na kukushinda hey Yesu wainua walio chini 
Wainua, Wainua, aku najamu lili logu. Nisiki uki sema unaweza, tuende, tuende. Unaweza.
Wacha niulize swali sikia Isi ni kelele sanene Isi ni kelele sanene Umepiga na vita gani Umepiga na vita gani Ringa, 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 ringa Isi ni kelele sanene Wana wiru sikia Isi ni kelele sanene Isi ni kelele za ushindi Umepiga na vita gani Umepiga na wana siyo sisi Umepiga na vita gani Umepiga na wana 2024 Isi ni kelele sanene Isi ni kelele Ukifarishwa pete Isi ni kelele 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 Umepiga na vita gani Umepiga na wana siyo sisi Umepiga na vita gani Umepiga na wana siyo sisi Savior, my provider. Hey, ta, 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 
We speak to the gates of 2024. Be ye lifted up that the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord God Almighty, mighty in power, in battle. Won't you lift your hands above your Our mom, Hannah Semanga Hivi, our mom, Doctor Sarah Kay. Matope. Lakini huko mbinguni sasa ni gold. Ijawai haripika. Hata saa hii Yesu amekaa enzini mwake maana huko mambo iko sawa. Amen. Huko ijawai pungukiwa. So you can tap into the supernatural and receive it from the supernatural. It doesn't need to go through the government of Kenya. You are an ambassador and your father can provide because he has sent you. Amen. That's why we say, We could we bangalelia. We could we bangalelia. We could we bangalelia. We could we bangal. Everybody say, We could we bangalelia. We could we bangalelia. We could we bangalelia. We could we bangalelia. Twenty-one, Om we could have banga leluya. We could We could have We could have We could We could We could Mani on Yene, Hallelujah, 
dime Listen 2024 Binga na malingo sema ya kwamba siwezi rogeka Ndio tunasema kwamba mtu amebarikiwa amebarikiwa Uliza na B alijaribu kutabiri rahana 2024 wanao jaribu kutabiri rahana wanasema na huyu amebarikiwa na kazi yake iko poa na anaendelea tu mondo moradi mende moradei osha moradi mende gerude mondo moradi mende moradi mende osha moradi mende gerude mondo moradi mende moradi mende osha ruka ya baraka ruka ya baraka Tazama jirani mwambie mwambie muangalie mwambie Takerumeka Enda kerumeka Hata kazi yangu Takerumeka 2024 Takerumeka Ministry Takerumeka PTR Takerumeka Takerumeka Enda kerumeka Rukia Yesu Rukia Yesu Unajua ni kwa nini wewe ni mtu wa roho wanakuwa na roho ni kama upepo leo tutawapata jini 2024 wanakuwa juu eh hey. kayoyo akero ni kwendete huka kayoyo akero ni kwendete eti yata Ayoyo akero ni mwendete huga Ayoyo akero ni mwendete Ayoyo Praise him. 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 You start to hear in a crime at Fezo? Ayy! Wapishangwe na vigere gere Oh Hallelujah Nimeona uwe mawako Nimeona fadhiri zako Baba Nasema asante Nimeona uwe mawako Nimeona fadhiri zako Baba Oh, Nimeona, 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 Baba, 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 
Iona wema wabona Mimi ni meona Ni meona Kwa macho ni meona Ni meona Ni meona Shaka tu meona Tu meona Tu meona Tu meona Tu meona Shaka tu meona Shaka tu meona Oh tu meona Pitiari tu ko Pitiari tu meona Tu meona Kesha tu meona Kesha tu meona He baba Mikono chumwa mbia sante Asante Asante, 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 asema, asante. Labda mjiwangi, wakati mwingine ni kushudia, tutashudia. Lakini tumiambiwa mwaka huu 2024, tutashudia. Amen. Among us, when the woman of God started the ministry, tulikuwa studio. Na kati ya hapo, Wenye walikuwa wa kwanza walikuwa wamehoa ni wawili ni mama na huyu ndugu wako mbele yako kwa neema ya Mungu wote ikafika ni majira ya kuoa na kuolewa walioa wote mwenye alipaki mwaka huu haifuki kabla hajaoa anaingia kwake by fire by force ah, neema hii tulipoingia atukuata tunalia uwepo iko lakini pia tunalia na shida unaelewa Unalia mtu wameono mejazo, lakini shida imekufana. Amen. Tukambiwa, akanza kuprofesai, the woman of God. Akasema siku moja, mutakuwa munaulizana, tutaenda na gali ya nani, tuwaje ya nani. Siku hiyo siku wa na gali, nilikuwa na kianga na yeka my wife wapa nyuma kwa kiti, na watoto wengi, siku hiyo nilikuwa na wawiri, na yeka hapa na wambia mimi ndo fate, mbio na drive. Na drive kiti kwa nyumba, lakini sahi ni kuna gali. Sahi ni kuna gali, neema ya buwana. Na wengi wetu hapa, wana magali. Amen. Ikaanza Jeremy alikuwa na gari, kakuja mwingine sitaki nitache majina for security purposes. Maana huku huko sawa. Hatuko vibaya, tuko sawa. Tumeonekaniwa, tukiimba tumeona wema wa Bwana. Kama ni kuolewa neema ya kuolewa na kuoa iko. Unaona hapa watu wanaona wanao ambaka international. Yaani wanaenda kufish, wanarusha nyafu, inashika mataifa. Eh. Eh. Ukiwa mwenzako mwambie Allah Yani hapa neema hiko Ambia mweza hiko neema hiko Na kama ni kuekesha Ndoa Awa mama hako na more than 30 32 years Siku moja nilikuwa na imba hapo St. Gatul Lakini serikia 25 years Mindo nilikuwa na Sami Barak on the mic Niki dance Mama mefikisha 25 Mungu ni pe neema ni sikume sikume ngarau Ni sikume sikume Ni kasukuma sahini kuna 17 Only in marriage Amen Neema ya kudumisha Kama yako imeanguka 2024 ah it itasimama bwana sifiwe hapa ni neema na chuo ya neema na wala hawachaoa na kuolewa walikuwa naongojea wachue fashion sasa maruzi vile sinakuwa unaweka mauagani ndio waongezee kwa uzito yao maana aruzi zao zitakuwa kubwa kuliko zetu tukimba tumeona hii uliza kane muone tu kando tumeonwa uliza baraka tumeonwa uliza jeremy tumeonwa uliza nani jedaida unajua tulienda mission huko mtu akam watoto wa second ndio kaanza kumwambia 
Kambia, excuse me, niko na be na niko na watoto. So, si mdogo amebarikiwa. That's why we can sing. Tumeona uwe maua. Tumeona fadiza kwe. Pokea yonema, pokea yonema. Tumeona. Tumeona uwe maua. Tumeona. Baba. Baba, tume, 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 ona. Tume, 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 ona. Tume, ona. Tasema. Baba, tume, 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 ona. Tume, ona. Kwa kufahamu mwini uri mikono ya kusema. E, asante. Asante. Wewe ni wema. Nisaidie kushukuru mungu tukimuambia sante Hallelujah Si mungu ni muema Kama hacha kutendea, hata kutendea Tumeona wema wake Tumetabiriwa Ni muaka wa kutemberewa Na mungu wa tembeangi tu kama jirani vile tuliambiweko Anakujeko kukuliza kama wageni wa mekura Kumbe ni ya nataka kukura Especially kwe tumari tumetoka Especially siku ya matanga Eh wageni wamekula nini hapa wageni wageni si wageni ni pure box anataka kuona mmetengeneza nini hapa ikuwe sawa ni yeye kwanza na huko kwetu kwanza unawezi yako ugari kwa sahani uwezi toshea nakata mantau ya ndizi uweke chini uweke hata paka iwezi ruka juu ni kubwa ni mlima tunakuranga vizuri kutoka kwetu huko so hapo mtu akikuuliza kwamba wageni wanakula nini analia kwenda jikoni na wengine wanapidi wachache yani wa wapitie wakunywa machozi ya simba ndio walie vizuri. So hao wengine ni wakuchifanya sisi ni kama waisraeli kabisa kabisa. Sisi na waisraeli tuko hivi hivi hivi. Siku ya matanga Yesu alitembea kwa mama moja. Yaani kimzee moja amepoteza mtoto pinti wa miaka miwili. Wakilia amekufa amekufa. Yesu akamwambia acha kasia. Huyu amerara. Kusikia hivyo wakaanza kusema hai, wakaanza kucheka. Was check it in your Bible. Wakacheka. Sisi uko Nyanza tukikureko kama ni matanga tunalia serious na machozi nafika serious kama sana sana last time tulikuwa matanga ngine na hakuna kiliomba kama ya mzee 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 wa miaka huko nyure mepungua kama yangu ni kilio chake ni kali ho 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 analia na huko sasa kwa sababu familia na chiweza wakamuletea kiti mzee pole pole kachini kachini pole kunyue kufanta kaletewa fanta ile nono haka kunyue haki maliza kumeza haka hika chupa zina haka uliza na kwa hii poma ni mama amekufa ama ni mzee amekufa. Kumaanisha alikuwa analia ya chokes. Huyu ni mwizirani kabisa. Tumetoka na hapo. Lakini huyu Yesu akisema na kuinua, ayuko chokes. He doesn't speak because he has a mouth to speak. He speaks with finality. 
That's why he says with finality. He has all the power, all the capacity. Aende kutafuta kama sisi tuseme tutengeneze kitu, tuende kwa mekaniki, tutafuta hii, tutafuta hii. He has all power to make you to become, to bless you and to lift you. Can I hear good amen? amen. So kama mesema ata kutemberea, ata kutemberea, ata kutemberea. Mbaka majirani wachue umetemberewa. Kama vile pasi alikuwa nasema, mtu alieka agano, te, Hack of the covenant. Three months. President ya kasikia. I wonder kama baraka yako mifikia president. Kama ijafikia, tuko kilas moja. We are on a wrong way to go. Ikifikia president ya kume mbarikiwa. Pasi hapo tutajua utumianza kuenda safari. The God who has spoken to us. The year 2024. We shall never be the same again. That's why we can afford to say. Amen. Nena mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Napo pia na mic inasema Oh amene na Sio chirani amene na amene Amene na amene na amene Wenyewe mwenyewe Ale 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 Ninga ukisema amene na Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So help me to preach to your neighbor and prophesy. Inuka Simama Akikisha jirani yako melewa Tawara Una Soidizi wako Soidizi wako Nani yako Inuka Twenty twenty four. Tawara. Tawara. Unaki bali. Zaidi ziwako. Zaidi ziwako. Miere seche. Miere seche. Mzewe. Ulivyo nangu. Umepewa uwe. Usife moyo mze ule Ufalme ni wako Umbrili Pamoja na yesu Yere seche Yere seche mze ule Ulivyo nangu Umepewa Umepewa uwe yesu Walo wako Usife moyo Usife moyo mze ule Ufalme ni wako Inuka, Inuka, Si mama, Si mama, Tawa, 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 So it is, so it is, so it is, so it is, Inuka. Tawala, tawala, unakiba. Zaidi zi, zaidi zi, zaidi zi. Nani yako? Inuka, inuka, inuka. Si mama, si mama, uchi. Tawala, unakiba. Mikono ya kompe yesu makofi Kelele ya sifa mana na tawara Tunainuka 2024 tunainuka Tunaangaza Mana yeye Hame tuangazia ndani yetu Na utukufu wake huko ndani yetu Inuwa mikono yako tunapokaribia kumariza 
Mwambie Mungu ni asante. Neema yako imetubeba. Kibari chako kitu kimetubeba. Mkono wako umetubeba kwa dakika moja. Alafu kisha baadaye we make a prayer as we release a blessing from this altar in Jesus name. Just lift up your hands and thank God. Sharari kazanta baba zaira. Father we give you glory. Father we give you honor. Father we praise your name. Father we exalt you. You have been so good even this day and we glorify your name and we praise your name Jehovah you have been so good to us you have fought our battles oh God you have given us a success oh God for tonight we pray that you answered oh God you have done even more than what we prayed for and to this morning Lord the first day of the year 2024 we choose to give you the glory we choose to give you the honor. Weka mikono yako pamoja. Unapo mshukuru mungu. Fanya hiru hombi kwa deka moja. Mwambie ni asante, mwambie ni asante. Inwe jina rake. Ibariki jina rake. Mshukuru mungu wa mikuwa mwaminefu. Ni mwanzo tu mwanzo. Ambao makuya tatendeka. Karika jina resu kwiso. Asante Yesu. Asante Boana. Asante Yesu Asante Yesu We give you glory Lord We give you glory Lord Tunakushukuru Bwana Hatutukui utukufu Hatuguzi utukufu Utukufu ni wako Bwana Tunakurudishia Bwana Tunakupa wote Bwana Ah, eh, Yesu asta hili Eshima na utukufu Ah, eh, Yesu asta hili Eshima Yesu, Yesu, Yeshima, Ah, Ah, Yesu, Yesu, Yeshima, Tuna inua mi kona yetu na zima, Ah. Kwa kujibu maombi 
Vous mettez petit chaboana. What can we render but giving back the glory to you? Giving back the glory to you. You deserve it. 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 Hey, 
Tunasema wasahiri Tuwapunga mikono zetu ewani Iwe ni dhabiu yetu ya kwanza ya kuinua mikono mbele zako Tukweshimishe mungu ambao Ni mkuu na kando na wea kuna mwingine Wewe peke yako wasahiri Mwana kondo Wewe wasahiri Tunakuenze tunakuinua Unatusema kwa nina lako na kutuamba Tunapo kuinua juu Wewe unachifutia watu kwako Tumeona we mawako na siku ila tunaleta shukura ni kwako. Maano umekuwa mwaminifu. Umekuwa mtetezi. Umekuwa nguvu zetu. Na ngao yetu. Tunakuamini. Tumekuona. Tunasema ni asante. Umekuwa mwema kwetu. Uinuliwe buwana. Uinuliwe yesu. Haufananishu na yeyote. Haulinganishu na yeyote. Pokea sifa zetu. Yawe pokea. Yawe pokea Baba wetu na mungu wetu Tuna kushukuru marengine Tunaomba baraka yako ya kudumo katika weponi mwako Iendamane na watoto wako Tuna nena kwamba utawaungoza Waendako na warudiko Neema yako na maraika wako Wawatanguli Karika kazi zao Karika nyumba zao kwa familia zao tunatamuka neema ya kuinua itawainua we ambao linua yura mbali kuwa mduni ukamuketisha na wafalme baba wainue watoto wako tutashudia tutakapo rudi wakati mwingine utakapo tupa tena tukutane kwa mkesha tasema ni asante mana utakuwa na shuhuda nyingi ya kulibariki jenerako winuliwe utukuzwe ubarikiwe leo na hata na mirere. Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba tukiamini. Mwinulie ma makofi yako ya sadaka kwa shukurani. Mpekerele ya sifa mungu wetu. Yeye ni muema, yeye ni muema. Amen. And now may the grace Unaweza rudia tena ukisalamia mtu share na yeye the grace and now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Shuari shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life 2024 in Jesus name all the days of 2024 are dwell in the house of the Lord. Can I hear amen? Yesu wakanaka After this you're free to go. Wakanaka Wakanaka Yesu wainuriwe Wainuriwe I know Baba. Tuna mu inua. 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 Tuna mu inua.
before you go, let me welcome my director to say something. Oh, is everything okay? All the workers to remain behind? All right. So we can continue as people go home. In Jesus' name.